Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's lovely to be with you this evening. Oh, it is. One, because it's chilly outside and I'm all about that indoor life. <gasps> Second off, the fact that I have got some serious genuine jam stones coming up. Third off, because we've had a lovely little get together this afternoon with a little bit of a sort of training meeting session, loads of presenters. Steve was there and we had the producers as well. So that was nice. Nice to have a natter, isn't it? And also because today 
feeling as sort of homely and warm and creative as I am, we have got one of my favorite and most exciting, oh my goodness, so glad we're doing it now, mediums of the last 12 months, bar none. And the wonderful guest designer to talk us through these incredible mediums, it is the one, the only Hayley Kruger. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Very, very good, thank you. Um, Hayley, for anyone who's, who's just tuning in, maybe hasn't seen you before, give us a little heads up about what skills you're going to be passing on to us today. Well, I'm, I'm a metal worker. I work with sterling silver and precious metals, including gold and platinum. And when you work with those mediums, you have to be able to solder and you have to be able to gem set. So yes, we are. We're going to be soldering and we're going to do a little bit of gem setting. Yeah. So there's lots and lots and lots of tools and soldering equipment and hints and tips. Good stuff today. You have honestly got a real, real treat today. A lot of the time when I do a show, you know, even if it's like sort of a weekend show to do with metal work, I might do soldering on one day and then gem setting on the other. Today you're getting the best of both worlds all in the space of four hours. So if you're in the mood to be inspired, you are completely in the right place. And whether that inspiration is going to come from the actual tools of the trade and the info itself, or if you are inspired with genuine gemstones, you are completely in the right place. Have a little look at some of the treasures of the earth I'm offering today. Coming up for you in the first hour. It is so, so, so not far away. Also coming up in this time for all of you who are running low on those essentials, I have got your must-have vital elements. This is just one of them. Solid sterling silver findings on their way. First star buy, about 25 minutes. As well as that, I have to tell you, I have got some super savers coming up that are going to boggle the minds. Amber. Yep, you voted it your second favourite gemstone of the year. I have got super savers on Ambers. Not just one, many. And one of them comes in this little box. Why? Because it's a guaranteed to make you smile. Look at this incredible amber with guaranteed insect. Yes, guaranteed. We will not have inserted this insect. We will not have uh, drilled this, put it in and backfilled. This will be naturally occurring. Could date back easily around 40 million years upwards. This is on its way. It is going to be a super saver unlike anything we have seen before. The fact of the matter is we can see large insects in amber go for triple figures easily. Not tonight. You have to react on this though. It's not coming up yet. We're going to be doing that uh, um, eight o'clock, of course. It's it's tonight's you know big uh, must have. It is so worth the wait. I absolutely promise you that. I have got for you loads of sterling silver coming up. I've got some soldering with demos. I've got tools galore. We've got gem setting with demos as well. We have also got for you that amber showcase with those super savers. And I've got some sporadically through the show. It really is a night to stay involved. So should we kick off? Let's get started as we mean to go on. And let me get started with something that for soldering you are going to love. If you're into your wire work too. This is a serious amount of weight. What do you like about working with 0.8 wire? Could it be that it's easy for making lots of findings, lots of clasps? Maybe it's also for the fact that you can make this into your wire work so it could be structural. Also, maybe you like the fact that you can make pieces of jewellery just using this. You know, if you use a hammer, and I've got some hammers and raw hides and things like that coming up later, but if you literally just use this and you hammer this, you could easily make a dainty sort of singular, uh, you know, loop band ring with something like this. Obviously, you've got a full metre, so you could do that a fair few times over. The great thing about this is its versatility, and let's face it, us as jewellery makers, we need versatility. As a crafter, we want versatility. It helps make our 
saleable pieces, giftable pieces, individual, and that is exactly what this will do for you. I've got a meter, it's 0.8, and it's just £9.95 for you. Think about that versatility, think about the wire work, the class, the findings that you could make with this. Have you ever had that moment where maybe you've created a design and you can't quite find the right clasp to go with it because maybe, um, maybe you've, you've only got you know, silver plated copper wire and it's not the same quality or maybe you've done a really big design and all you can find is tiny little clasps and it won't balance it out. That's where something like this comes in. It makes your life easier. It's going to, for you, help you create those pieces that maybe you've been missing out on or if you're anything else like me, you'll go, oh, sure, I've got loads of those, I don't know, shepherd hooks, for example, loads and loads. And then you look in your stash and you go, oh, no, actually, do you remember I made X, Y, and Z for that show or I gifted so-and-so, um, you know, all of those earrings. If that is the case, you can, of course, use these uh, to kind of replicate those. Those, however, are on the way. We know they're an essential, so they're coming up for you shortly. Nice work. Oh, pearls, wow. Let me bring to you... Oh... Sterling silver, super festive, Christmassy. Well, it says stocking charm, but I genuinely think that could be a sock or a Wellington boot. Maybe for someone who's going to a festival or something like that, that could be quite cute, couldn't it? Especially as at the top there, you can see that's genuine gold over the top and that's silver at the heart of it. If you've got a bit of nouse about you, you could engrave into that, couldn't you? Maybe, maybe uh, say someone's going to Glastonbury, maybe you could put a G in there for Glastonbury. Or maybe if you are going to Glastonbury, you could do a 5-0 for the 50th anniversary as it is this year, 50th year of Glastonbury 2020. So you could do a little 50 in there, couldn't you? And that show really nicely because you'd see the silver shine through. So this, although it's festive, could be many, many different things to many different people. Six ninety-five for you today. Or is it? Does anyone else do that thing whereby um, certain people will like buy their Christmas wrapping paper in January because it's absolutely dirt cheap? I, I will be honest, I do not do that. Um, I always get to November and say to myself, next year I will. And then I never do. And then I get jealous of those who do. If you do that too and you're a bit jealous for it, then you're so in the right place right here, right now. Because we are doing for you your post-Christmas Super Saver. <coughs> It's coming for you right here, right now. This is your time to react a better than half price deal. Grab it, get it in your collection. Use this and get it ready for, you know, October, November, December, next year. Well, this year, sorry. Maybe you do want to use this for your multifunctional designs, as we've said, but get in early. Don't be one of those people like me who watch all of those people who've, oh, yeah, basically sorted all of my, uh, you know, wrapping paper and all the bits and bobs, you know, in January and you feel like so jealous you know something like this it's not like if you buy a packet of biscuits and they're going to go out of date by Christmas this is lasting beauty grab it whilst you can seriously multifunctional and there's nothing stopping you you know again with a little bit of creativity maybe doing a little wire work uh, you know skate to this I like that idea I think that's quite cute Hayley what do you like about this design please I love the contrast between the gold and the red. Yeah. The first thing that I saw when when, that, when you showed that, I thought, wow, that's, that looks like a really high-end Wellington view. Yes, totally. So it's quite, quite, it's a high-end little charm, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. especially with that real gold over yeah. the top of it. Definitely. Absolutely, yeah. Hello, multi-buyers. How are you? Muriel, I'm not sure we've met before, mainly because of where you're from doesn't spring a name, but, but if we haven't, hi, nice to meet you, we've not met before, my name is Rebecca Redikin, you can call me Becky, or Bex, or what else do people call me, Redders I get called quite a bit, <laughs> my mum calls me Rachel, but that's only because it's my sister's name, she gets confused, <laughs> um, are we doing the pearls, oh my goodness, these are stunning, okay, Please imagine for me a mermaidial style pearl. 
Because to me, if you imagine, say, a mermaid diving to the depths of the ocean and unlocking a mollusk, it would not be a perfect pure round, because for me that can sometimes almost look too perfect, almost man-made. Imagine her reaching down into the depths of the ocean and retrieving a pearl that looked like this. This has fascination about it. This has individuality about it. And for me, you have got that almost fireball-like look. Isn't that decadent? I appreciate the mysticism of this and, of course, therefore, its individuality. Like I mentioned, I do like perfect round pearls and I, I do understand that they're a rarity and a scarcity within themselves, but sometimes I be believe they can almost look too perfect. They can almost look like shell or man-made. For me, when I look at this, that mysticism and beauty of its individuality stands out so much that I would never think that that was man-made. You are not just getting one of them. $99.95. The strand has broken. and all of these <laughs> threads everywhere. But um, if you do want to grab them, just look at these treasures of the earth. They are incredible. It's stunning, isn't it? Okay, I am in. Oh, wow. Single figures. It's gone. It's sold out. It's sold out. It's sold out. It has sold out. I'm sorry. Well done if you got that. Um, let's <laughs> dive in to another pearl. Now, this is single figures already. Look at these. When you see pearls and you, you think of their surface, do you want a rainbow? Because if you do, you've got it here. What does that rainbow make you think of? Rainbows. <laughs> Rainbows, unicorns, <laughs> magic. Yeah, all of those things. We are bringing to you single figures on these. It is genuine metallic freshwater pearls that metallic look you are going to see when you wear these in daylight we have literally now got one okay everyone pays the final close in you ready for this 59.95 grab the final one now whilst you can we're doing a drop down 27 pounds and 95 pence for you totally natural metallic pearl that is about to go it is over allocated good luck on that last one good luck let's dive in and bring you a sun pendant now when I think of the sun, of course, I do naturally think of summer, I think of optimism, I think of happiness, I think of um, kind of, you know, holidays. I also think about friendship, spending time with my best friends in the sun, going out for picnics. What does the sun make you think of? Because if it's sparkling light, this should do it. Isn't that divine? I love the look of this because it's got that very sort of void space um, design which is really in at the moment. When you think of the likes of Miss Simone, you think of the likes of Monica Venada, I think these are the types of designs you're seeing. There's a minimalism to them but with that chic elegance, with that sparkle. Now, for me, if I just spin that around for you, you can see that you've got that um, beautiful attached bale. Do you have any chains at home? Yeah? If you do, can you think of one that this would go on? Yeah? If not, well, have a little nose on our website. We'll definitely have some there for you. But I'm thinking that because of the size of this chain, I could, because of the size of this pendant, I could quite easily add this just simply as it is by itself onto a chain. Of course, you can add to it. Maybe uh, my lovely director, Ben, suggested a citrine maybe in the centre of this. I love that idea. Not that I would necessarily use the amber on this, but imagine seeing those amber hues shining through. Incredible, right? Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Bringing to you today, $14.95, or is it Super Saver? <coughs> The hour is it in? It's 
pounds and 85 pence for you now this is solid sterling silver with all of those wonderful beams of light bringing to you that 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 very chic very stylish very wearable optimistic design i love how happy this makes us and and that's not just because of that optimistic shape but also because of that price point it is divine remember um hayley is going to be showing us soldering gem setting as well today we have got oodles and oodles and oodles to teach you and to talk about and to enjoy so why not add pendants like this to your collection so that when you do come maybe get to you know making your own settings making your own charms then you can add things like this to it that is about to sell out i've got less than 30 available now so i am going to move on i've got an ethiopian opal coming up for you later which is going to make your eyes boggle oh what is it that you look for in Ethiopian opal? Colour? I reckon. That's probably a go-to for me as well. If that is the case, let me just get you to feast your eyes on this. And let me just ask you a question. Can you see colour in this? And how many? Because for me... I can see several. The interesting thing about this stone and the quality that we've purchased for you here is that we have got to be bringing to you a gradable quality, even if it's just simply for the fact that I can see several different colors in one stone. This is in the daylight simulator, remember? So when you wear this outside, dependent on time of day and the amount of sunlight, etc., this is the kind of look you're going to be getting. Could you imagine wearing this, what your friends would say? Do you think your friends, if they saw this on your hand, would just ignore it? Or do you think they'd go, blimey, where'd you get that from? Wow, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, they'd, they'd, probably, they'd probably do the latter, wouldn't they? I can't imagine anyone nonchalantly overlooking this. It's because of that colour and the fact that you're getting such an intensity of colour and such a vast amount as well. We are looking at nine, well, nine carats, over nine carats, in fact, sorry. £191 thereof is a brilliant deal for these because, as you can see, the amount of colour, that luxury of colour, the opulence of having that colour. All right. If these were just one flat, okay colour, I wouldn't expect that price, but they're not. These are a premium item. I've got collectors in. I have got collectors in, and with the multi-purchasing opportunity on this, I have a feeling that these could well be to make and sell, and even maybe just sell on, because quite frankly, the calibre of these with that cacophony of colours locked within is incredible. When you're looking at this recording now, can you see as, as it rotates around that you're actually almost getting more colours than, you know, the first time you saw it? Has anyone else spotted that? And have you also noticed that there's more shades? Now, remember, when we talk about shades, we're sort of talking about lightness and darkness of colours. So when I'm looking at this, I'm almost seeing sort of the shades of hot colours. So I've got sort of uh, pinks to almost dark, intense reds. Well done to every single one of you on this. Should be £200. I've got producer Tom in today, and he's uh, bringing you, woo, last two, best deal. We're going to do it. We're going to bring you best ever deal on this one today. There you go, £59.95. I've only got one of these left right now. Imagine doing gem setting with something like this. Amazing. Hales, for yeah. you, you obviously make an... Well, you do, uh, you know, individual pieces yeah. and you make and sell and you also get people to come to you in your workshops to make and sell their own jewellery. Well, yeah. make their own engagement jewellery and things like yeah. that. Is Opal one that you've been asked to set or asked to oh, work yes. with? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah Opal. So, and it's very popular at the moment. So, mm. uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody loves Opal. Yeah. And it's really having a resurgence as well. Yes, I completely mm. agree with you on yeah. that. Seems to be everywhere. Yeah. If that is you and that is the case, feast your eyes. Because if you have just missed out on that, don't worry. I am bringing you these pear drops later on in the show. 9.45. So well done to those who got this. If you missed out, we'll make up for it with that later. 
Let's add in, I love the idea of these together because for me, when I think about opal and its play of light, I want to reflect that as much as possible. So why not with solid sterling silver? That's gorgeous, that two together, because they really complement one another, doesn't it? I agree yeah. with you. What do you like about this piece, Hales? I like the, the, the effect that you have on it. Not just the irregular surface, but it's got a frosted finish. Yes. Which is really gorgeous. It's like the moon. Yes. Mm. It is. It's really lunar-like mm. look, hasn't it? What I appreciate um, with that kind of movement is the fact that this is oh so shiny. Would you count yourself as a bit of a mad pie? A mag mad pie. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, an absolute mad pie. <laughs> uh, mag pie. Not mad pie. What would a mad pie be? Pumpkin and strawberry. Oh, it's mad. <laughs> Magpie. <laughs> if you guys are you someone yourself as someone who loves shine and sparkle, look at this. Mm. This, for you, is a different play on that. Because although it's still giving you shine, it's undulating it in a different way due to that patination. But also due into the sort of uh, brush almost finish yeah. that you've got in here. So it, it gives you shine and sparkle, but in a different way than you might have in your collection. £5.95 pence for you, usually. But today we're going to do a mad pie price. Cucumber is another suggestion of a mad pie. <laughs> <laughs> 3 for you now. The versatility of this is extensive. The fact that you get that play of the light on this, that you could... Do you have any, like, plain spaces in your collection or, like, plain stampable pendants in your collection? incorporate these into a design that maybe you've already got that uses the more traditional shapes and how do you think this is going to extend that because i think it's going to add a whole new dimension to it it's going to give you a little bit more maybe interest would you say maybe it's going to give you a little bit more texture within your designs three pounds 95 on that good evening karen how are you are you having a nice one? Hiya, Jeanette. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Sue. Oh, it's time. Do you know what? <clears throat> Let's just think. You know, I was just saying then about sort of versatility and making something nice and versatile. What I like about the price we've just done on that is the fact that with a little bit of a tool, I'm using my tweezers, don't use your tweezers, with a little bit of a tool and a little bit of nouse, you could quite easily pop that onto there and make yourself a set of earrings. Now, considering that, what are you going to need to make that pair of earrings, to make that simple pair of earrings? You don't even need a jump ring because of the way they sit, but you are going to need the critical piece, the essential, the must-have, your shepherd's hooks. How about I bring you some shepherd's hooks and some other must-have all in one? This is a special style buy. When we talk to you about findings, we're essentially talking the essentials, the mechanisms. It's hard to make a necklace without a clasp. It's hard to make a set of earrings without something to put into your ears. These are where findings come in and I am bringing to you today a really lovely coherent collection at a price point that means you can multi-purchase. So just whilst we're showing you these things, have a little totalizer in your mind and have a little think about what you've got in your stash at the moment, what events you've got coming up. Because let's face it, if you've got a friend whose birthday or wedding anniversary or engagement party is in the next two, three months, would you like to give them sterling silver as opposed to a copper or a plated metal if you could here's your chance starting off with your shepherd hooks otherwise known as earring findings I've not got one pair I've got you two so the opportunity here again greatened by the fact that you've got multiples of these these are the ones that we uh, were talking about earlier on and said if you wanted to very simply uh, you know add these maybe with the brushed effect detail you've got yourself a very stylish set of simplistic earrings there ready and raring to go for personalization 
You may well, although you don't with that one, need to add jump rings into the situation on this. I have got plenty of jump rings for you to make the addition of the likes of clasps very simple indeed. The class we've gone for here are your bolt ring class. Super traditional, super usable. You recognize those probably from the backs of, you know, high-end bracelets, necklaces, etc. Very simple clasp to attach but also wear, which is great if you gift him. As well as these, we're going to be bringing to you some of your crimp tubes. Now you can use these as spaces or you can use these maybe uh, to, again, add your clasps on, finish off your looks and designs. You're going to be getting a few of those ones again. And lastly, but by no means leastly, the treat that we're always, always, always hoping for, it is your head pins. Now the keen-eyed amongst you may well have noticed that this is a little bit different than usual. Because, as you notice, we have got four of your head pins. We've got two pairs of your shepherd hooks. We will have, but they keep rolling, use your imagination. We will have four of your crimp tubes. We have also got four of your joint rings and we've got two clasps. Anyone else notice that that is two findings packs? Whereas usually we'll only do a set of nine in sterling silver, we're now bringing you two. You know what that means? That means that isn't your closed price, it's your combined price. That means that when we sell you sterling silver usually, you will purchase one pack of nine. That will make you a nice set of, of earrings or a nice, well, earrings and maybe a necklace. By doubling this up, we are giving you more opportunity for makes, for gifts, for jewellery making. So not only are we giving you these vital elements, we're bringing them to you in a wholesale deal. You're getting more of them for less. More findings for less money. It makes no sense, but that's what we like to do here at Jewellery Maker. When we know that you're running low on things, when we know that, you know, it's still post-Christmas, we're still trying to catch up, aren't we, on stashing up on our stock, this is your chance to do so today. You are literally getting yourself this wholesale deal that we're offering to you. It's a start by. We can't bring you these prices every day. Let me just remind you, you know, come eight o'clock, if you do want to get these, they'll be back at 13.90 which is still a very good price because these are great quality aren't they they're solid sterling silver but to be able to get those two packs to make that set of jewelry for 4.95 is fantastic and in fact whilst we are talking about this let's talk about this piece of jewelry you can make okay let's imagine all of me threading materials sorted and i've got i don't know let's say this strand let's say i want to make some jewelry with this strand okay so i can make using the head pins and the shepherd hooks two pairs of earrings. I can then, because I've got the, let's say, the um, clasps, a bracelet and a necklace. And I'll use my jump rings on that too. So in here, I can make four pieces of jewelry, nay, four pieces of solid sterling silver, genuine gemstone jewelry, if you're planning on getting this one in a couple of minutes, for £4.95 for all intents and purposes. That's a brilliant deal. I think it's a really good deal. Obviously, you work with a lot of precious metals. Hale, what is it that you like about sterling silver findings? Well, you've said it already. You want to finish off your pieces so that they are of a certain standard, yeah. and sterling silver findings do that for you. Yeah. Even if you're just using a bead that's maybe not of a mega high value, if you bring in the sterling silver finding, it takes it to a, a, the next stage. Yeah. And even though I've worked with gold and platinum and other metals, sterling silver is still one of my favorite metals to work with because it just looks good, it feels amazing when you're working with it, mm. and it really complements pretty much every skin tone. Yeah, I suppose because it's so reflective, it kind of yeah. takes your skin tones on a little bit, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. We are bringing to you £4.95 on that collection. So many multi-buyers there for you today. And if that wonderful process your light has caught your eye it's not long to wait literally 10-15 um, minutes probably let me bring you more sterling silver now and let <laughs> just by my feet I just have we got a picture of it so I just last night I'm about to bring you some sterling <laughs> silver and I'm about to bring it to you in a beautiful elegant design have a little think about what you think of when you think of the migration of birds. Is it 
springtime often that when we think about kind of swallows and you think about them darting across uh, sort of the campsite. I'm just going to nip down. <laughs> you go to the basement. There I will. <laughs> yeah, I've taken the lift <laughs> and got. Oh man! Oh, the stuff in. Ah, oh, what's that? Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's a leaf. <laughs> Oh, it was a spider. <laughs> oh, my days. It is a massive dried leaf. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Butterfingers Bex. And um, let me show you now this beautiful, elegant design, which does remind me of like going camping in spring and summer. And you see often like the swallows darting down and kind of following yeah. uh, the line of the fields, don't they? Obviously, they're looking for, you know, little um, animals to pick up, aren't they? But I always think of the swallows and I think it is a real signifier of sunshine. You know, I think it's a real signifier of that kind of changing of the seasons. It is, but it also tells you when it's been a really sunny day and you see swallows, you know that the rain's on the way. So, it, but that's a positive because it means that because they because <laughs> they can sense the weather. So wow. they, it can, they can sense it either way. I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. So they're beautiful, indica indicative. Birds, yeah. I didn't know that. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. Wow, Mother Nature's amazing. Bringing to you today 95 solid sterling silver. It is just £4.95 for you today. That beautiful swooping design. And I mean, this could just be me, but for me, when I'm looking at this one, I am thinking um, that actually what I could do if I wanted to is this sort of bale you've got here actually using my flat nose pliers and turning that maybe more into a little bit of a point almost making it look more beak like and then i could put maybe like a gemstone from that maybe looking like it's sort of um you know going to sort of catch something four pounds and 95 pence for you today let me flip so you can see the lovely underside of that so, and the reason i show you this is because sometimes they'll just keep things plain yeah. in the back won't they it's a little bit of added detail that gives you that luxury look i think um, if you do fancy grabbing it, do you know how to do so? Info's at the bottom of your screen if you don't. 0800 644 five. If, if you're new and you've never, never even done shopping telly before, okay, give that phone number a call if you like speaking to people. If you're someone who maybe hates talking on the phone, and I, I know there's quite a few of you, do it on jewelrymaker.com. Either way, it's so easy to set up an account. Genuinely dead, dead, dead easy. Uh, so choose whichever way is easiest for you. And remember, that £3.95 potion packaging isn't per item or per checkout. It's, it's however much you buy and check out before midnight. And you can get loads of the things on jewelrymaker.com. Let's dive in to... When you think about Beryl... Do you ever think sometimes they're a bit watery? Is that just me? Sometimes when I think of beryl, I think of certain maybe morganites and aquamarines particularly. They can be quite watery, can't they? Almost quite dilute. And that's all right if that's what you're looking for. But sometimes it's not nice to be able to look at a strand and go, well, that's a morganite hue, that's an aquamarine hue, because you can tell the difference. If that is you, then I think this strand's going to make you smile. None of these are wallflowers, which is great if you want a little bit of a punch with your stones. Look at those colours. I've got Heliodor-like hues, Goshenite-like hues, Morganite-like colours. Oh my goodness, there is a lot going on on here. Hang on. I've got aquamarine colours in here as well. Big, strong, bold, like aquamarine hues in here. Look at the heliodor tones, loads of them. I am bringing to you strength of your beryl. And as I said, I think it's lovely to be able to decipher the difference between the stones because to me, that's them showing off their personality, you know. I think it's lovely with these ones that you've got that personality of each one because again, as a creative, doesn't that give us more options? The fact that we can see the difference quite clearly. So if I wanted to take out all of the Morganite SQs and use all them in one piece, then I can. Use all the aquamarine like hues in another, then I can. But actually, if you've got a strand whereby they're so watery, it's almost hard to decipher, that can make your life a bit more difficult, can't it? This is one of those strands that's going to make your life really, really easy. 
especially as you've got that lovely tumble like shape to them for that easy go lucky design it's eight pounds and 95 pence for you on that entire strand if that strength and that saturation is something that you know you know is going to make your life easier you know you personally appreciate gemstones that almost tell you what they are just at a glance this is definitely one to add into your collection and also if you're interested in valuing stones you know if you're interested in knowing sort of the differentiation in stones this could be a great way to do it as well because if for example you were to sell these individually would you necessarily sell that stone there at the same price as you would sell that stone there no not necessarily so it's nice to be able to see that individuality within these what is it as a creative that this is calling to you well that's the best strand of barrel i've ever seen really you, well i mean look at those you said the colors are stunning yeah they um, really are you could do something really clustery with that i think because of the elongation of those beads so maybe a cluster pendant with multiple layers of the the beads so you can hear them jangling together i, I think it would look amazing um, even um, a cluster ring with perhaps one of each color all sticking up it would be oh. more of a statement cocktail ring but it'll be fun i love that mm. idea especially as they're so in at the moment and she said using the different colors as you've got in yeah. here that's going to be a talking point yeah isn't it yeah well done all that's a lovely strong strong one hey if strength is your idea of a good time you're going to adore this strand oh. for me the fact that this stone is in the shape and size it is gives me so much versatility when i think of malachite personally and you may be the same do you ever think big pieces cabochons big tumbles i know we've done like thumbstones of them haven't we big pieces which is lovely if you want the drama of that effect and that design but sometimes the opportunity to be able to make everyday wear i think is a real boon with this strand i am so not used to seeing this gemstone in this kind of manner I, don't, I genuinely am not sure I've ever ever said this I mean I must have in my X amount of years working here but imagine that half eternity band I would never normally say that for Morganite because norm, uh, Morganite sorry for Malachite because normally they're so gargantuan I would never think about a little half eternity band but with these actually would they're delicate enough hey and let's 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 stick with that theme how about we go from these ones at the end for the half eternity and then maybe we go more towards the center of the strand sort of around about here let's say to do the center of a slider bracelet i'd easily therefore let's say i use sort of that amount from a slider bracelet and literally well for me that amount for a half eternity I'd be able to get very, very easily two generous bracelets and two generous rings of malachite. Now that is not something I would usually be able to say because yeah, I'd be able to say you'd be able to get one pendant from this or one massive, you know, uh, photographic opportunity. But to get all of that jewellery for that strand and for the price you're about to see this is special that is such a special price you know the big brands right who are working with this and actually when I'm thinking about the big brands who are working with it am I seeing them doing big chunky necklaces now and again but not really I'm seeing them using little pieces of the faces of watch like uh Bulgari's is it Bulgari's just come out with theirs haven't they yeah the Malachite watch face yeah I've forgotten what it's called I'll look into it and um, or I'm thinking of even the likes of the stretchy bracelets sort of a la Thomas Sabo etc you know I'm thinking of these designs I'm thinking of these looks and this is the kind of designs I am thinking of I absolutely love the individuality of this I love the beauty of this and I love how it's really kind of you know giving it that workability that opportunity just to let you know it is the Bulgari watch that I am thinking of yeah it's a Bulgari watch and it's using a, a face of the watch as the um, is, is Malachite itself I'll show you actually if uh, you don't mind let me show it I mean wait a minute but here it is so this is the malachite watch that we're talking about and obviously if you wanted to sort of recreate something like this then the big capuchins we do would be far too large but actually if you look at the tiny little charms here imagine being inspired by the kind of um 
charm that's that's attached to this. By the way, these are limited edition. Twenty nine ninety five for you today on this one. And just look, you know, I know we're talking about that, but that kind of size to do something like this with, uh, be inspired with, would be incredible. And also, if you notice that the Bulgari one itself with the colours that you've got there, really beautiful, bold, strong. But it's the same sort of hue, isn't it? Just in case anyone is ent interested in the watch, I will let you know that it is currently on sale at $219,900. So. You know what? Yeah, it's been payday. Yeah, so why not? <laughs> Um, well done, every single one of you, on that. Uh, it's interesting because I think when you are a February baby like myself, you will know your birthstone quite well because I personally believe that February's birthstone is one of the best known gemstones out there. Would you agree with me on that? For example, when you were near to a grasshopper, did you know? Zircon, did you know Tanzanite? You know, did you know Alexandrite? Because I didn't. I definitely knew February's birthstone though, with it being my own. And there's something nice in that. There's something sort of safety net in that, isn't there? That this is such a recognizable stone. But also, sometimes I think if you're getting gifted this, it could become a little bit repetitive. You ever felt that way? You think of amethyst, you think of purple. With this one, think again. When you think of amethyst, do you associate that with the colour purple? If so, I understand. It's not actually anything to do with its name, and that's where people can get confused when they see this stone for the first time. If you think of amethyst and you associate that with purple, it's because it's the most common colour of amethyst. The word amethyst is actually a derivative of a Greek word meaning unintoxicating or not intoxicating. The fact of the matter is, if you think amethyst and purple, this is going to take that idea and flip it on its head and maybe even become one of your firm favourites from now on because this is your green amethyst. That beauty, that intoxicating, captivating, glowing, almost silver green is something that we do not see that regularly here or in fact anywhere in the trade in comparison to that of its purple counterpart. And for me, as somebody who is a February baby and therefore amethyst is your birthstone, I love the fact that I am able to have something and appreciate something which has got a certain je ne sais quoi and a certain individuality. I love also that this is going to go great with my standard purple amethyst <laughs> because of that colour. What does this colour say to you, Hayley? It, it, it's almost like... You, you, you were saying how amethyst is a, you know, everybody knows it. It's kind of, it's a wonderful gemstone, but it's not the up there kind of gemstone. This feels like it is. Yes. It I feels like that. it's a tanzanite level. Yes. Because of the colour and the clarity just looks so spectacular. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. And it is, you're so right, it is, it's that colour and that clarity and basically all the things we are taught to look for in the likes of tanzanite. Yeah. In a stone which is is known but lesser known, yes. and I know that's an antonym of each other, but I, I, I hope you know what I mean. When you're wearing this, do you think if you tell someone that this is an amethyst, that could be a conversation starter? I most certainly do, because for me, this is going to start that that is going to give you that individuality, that uniqueness, and start that conversation. And actually, amethyst does come in different hues. The fact of the matter is that today, 
for that luminous silver green color, for that silver green color that can start a conversation that gives you something different that books the trend of amethyst. Fifteen ninety five is sensational. Because in all honesty, wouldn't you be hard pushed to walk down your local high street and see this? It depends on your local high street, I suppose, but I can't think walking down my high street in Chester and seeing a lot of green amethyst. Purple, yeah. But not this. Not this. Not for its uniqueness and its individuality. And usually you have to pay for that, don't you? It's unique, it's individual. 1169. Brilliant deal for something unique. Great deal for something unique. Great for you to have that conversation starter. But I'm not stopping there. Super saver. You've got to react right now. Are you loving the colour on this? The clarity of it. I haven't even mentioned the shape. But the colour itself, that uniqueness, that individuality. All for £5. You're adding something to your collection that we don't see that often. And now you are doing it at such an affordable opportunity. If you fancy grabbing this, do seize that moment. Grab the opportunity. And really do, if you, if you love that colour as much as I do, do pick up the phone. Do feel free to do that right now and join us at jewelrymaker.com if you're loving this as much as we are. And of course, if you're loving the prize, can I just also say to you, just really briefly, if you are into these colours, look what I've got coming up for you in tonight's show. Look how perfect that goes. And hey, is it just me? Put those two together in shape. They're Because it's the same shape, but they're drilled yeah. in opposite ways. That's cool, isn't that it? Isn't, that is stunning. That looks so good together. That's on its way. Yeah. And also, this is coming up in the next hour. I'm going to be doing that about 7.45-ish. Not long on that one. They That's go great beautiful. together. Yeah. Hello to you. There's loads of you in. Hi, Molly and Sheila and Jane. Hi, Alison and Susie and Jeanette and Gary and Tracy and Muriel. Hello to Jeanette, Jenny, Sue, Ray, Debbie, Orvin, Angela, Sarah's in, Julie's in, Yvonne. Nice work to you. Celeste, Sue, Jay. I've got Connie in. I've got a collector in. Sue. Absolutely loads of you in on this one. I'm so, so glad that you two are enjoying that colour as much as I am. What what colour gemstones are you thinking of pairing this with? Have you got any ideas? Pearls would look amazing with that as well. That's a nice idea. Mm. I mean, I mean, you could go with any colour pearl, but the, of even a peachy, pinky pastel would look amazing. Lovely idea. It, yeah. Let me show it. I know we've sold out of this one, but I think we sold out of it anyway. But this is one that I did before. Oh yeah. I mean, that works, doesn't it? Yeah. And you know what? I'm not opposed to it. Five left, I'm being told. Five left. I'm not opposed to it with the amber colours. I don't know what it is. It's something to do with that almost sunshine, uh, sunshine dancing on kind of, you know, a dew morning feels that I just love together. Um, that might still be available. It's worth a check. Uh, well done. That has now sold out. Good work. <laughs> Not long until we dive on into the world of soldering tools. I've got gem setting as well. And, um, you know, if you do want to have a little nosy at um, some of the pieces of jewellery, um, do feel free to have a little nosy on social media. We popped up some pictures on there earlier on. Connectors. Say the number again, pop it. Uh-huh, it's this way. Let me bring to you... Oh, this is luxury look. If you think... If I say to you, think of a metallic that's luxurious... Did a lot you say gold? <laughs> or did some of you maybe say silver? If you said silver, you're right too. Because this is silver with gold. Hello, best of both worlds. I am bringing to you your... Oh, just imagine that as a ring. That's divine. What celebrity could you imagine wearing something like this? Jamelia Jamil. Yes, good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nice. I can imagine that. Rita Ora. Yeah, I can see that. Um, is it Holly? Who's the one who does the Holly morning? Holly Willoughby. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. To totally. Yeah, Fern Cotton as well, actually. Mm, I can yes. see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about... Um, who am I thinking of? Dig, 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 dig. Who's wearing something? Oh, um, Olivia Coleman. 
I could see a little bit Coleman wearing yeah. something like this because she's not afraid of a little bit of a quirky yeah. piece of jewellery. The fact of the matter is, I think, actually, there's quite a... Um, a Rihanna, as well, has been photographed wearing a void space uh, pendant, actually, recently. So I could see this on that one, too, on, on that lovely lady as well. The fact of the matter is, I've got for you... For you, your best friend, and maybe your daughter, a collection of rings that you could all have to match. So how much is that per ring, let's say? Tom, he's grabbing out his abacus. 6 98 great price point, especially with the qualities. You're gonna gift this to your best friend or your, your daughter or whoever it might be, and you're giving them gold and silver with Kiwi Sconia. 6 98 each. Or how about six ninety eight for all three? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Let's do it. Just look at the beauty of these and look at that price point now. Not six pound ninety eight each as they once were. Six pound ninety eight for all three. So you can wear one. Your best friend can be gifted one. Your daughter can be gifted one. You've all got these matching, very on trend, uh, you know, pieces of jewellery that haven't cost you an arm and leg. But let's face it, with silver and gold and cubic zirconia, they look and feel like they should have done. That is now two pound thirty three approximately each. <laughs> I mean, really, I could, you know, you'd be able to stretch to buy a crafting magazine for that price, wouldn't you? you for, you know, £2.33 or whatever it is. You really would. You'd be hard stretched to get your hands on a crafting magazine for something like that. Um, that is such a beautiful deal and difficult for you to recreate. Yeah, on that, that level, that quality and that yeah. finish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a really beautiful high-end piece. Three pieces. Very true. Yeah. You could use them all in together, though, I suppose. You absolutely cool. could. You could have them um, cascading down in a lovely statement necklace. Beautiful. With a teardrop pendant at the bottom. Oh, love that idea. Or a big statement necklace where you've got those three elements and then teardrops. So it would be a whole piece that comes down and you could use any kind of bead to complement it. That's beautiful. You? Yeah. I love that idea. Mm. I love how with each of those ideas, it's all about movement as yeah. well. I like yeah. that. Okay, let me bring to you... Oh, firework obsidian now. Are you someone who is really interested in kind of the animal print trend? And, and not just the animal print trend, but that kind of texture, mother nature trend that is massive at the moment. If you, you know, follow the likes of Gemma Crow on social media, you'll know that she's, you know, got these sort of wooden bangles, hasn't she? That have these kind of age textured effect. I really, really appreciate that some of these do look like um, almost sort of leather work on very expensive bags. Some of them almost look a little bit like sort of a, a scene, you know, um, of, of something you might kind of find on a Jasper. Some of them also do have that animal print effect with the sort of striations that come into this. Basically, all this is making me think of is different layers of Mother Nature. And I think the fact that this is natural really adds that up together, doesn't it? It really creates a bit of a boon for all of you who do appreciate genuine gemstones and want maybe their um, sort of connotations, crystal healing, etc., to be extra powerful. Because a lot of people who do believe in that believe they need to be natural to have that quality about them. It's got that natural feel. It's got that natural beauty. It's £6.95 for you today. And I think the fact that you have got natural Argentina, uh, Argentinian, sorry, um, obsidian particularly is very, very, very unique and individual. This sort of shape must be so much fun to work with. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's been said before, but it's definitely something you could imagine blokes wearing. So you so could true. really have a good time kind of designing designs around maybe a... a on a cord mm. or I mean I immediately think of um, we've got one of our team members here he's into battle enactment and that kind of yes, thing. Oh, yeah, 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 Matt, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I'm imagining doing jewellery that would that you could gift the people who are into that kind of thing That's or because it's a shield effect and there's a um, warrior and Viking feeling about it as well. That's so, so true. Yeah. I love that as an idea. And that's something that, you know, it's all, it's lovely being able to make and sell jewellery that is a little bit different sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And what a great market to tap into. Yeah. Speaking of great markets, 
Let's chat soldering. We have got two different yet similar mediums coming up for you on tonight's show. And uh, we are going to be diving on into soldering after the break. But we have also got gem setting for you. And if you would like a sneak peek at some of um, that jewellery, then um, we've got some pictures up in it. You can either go on JM guest designer Hayley Kruger. I've tagged her in that one. Or you can go on to Rebecca Reddick and present to have a sneak peek at some of the makes, but not all of them, that we're going to be delving on into today. If you have always thought about doing soldering but you have never maybe gone that extra mile to get into it, I would say in this break, think up questions, think up ideas, or if you've tried it and something's happened and it's gone wrong, think up anything that you just think. I wish I had a hotline to Hayley Kruger, I could just call her. <laughs> Text us now in the break and we will get through as many of those messages as we can. If you've thought about trying it but you don't have the tools, you're in the right place because after the break I've got kits, tools and this lovely lady demoing. So get ready, we'll be back after this. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call center. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Thank you for tuning in this evening. It's lovely to be with you if we've not seen each other before. Hi, my name is Rebecca Reddikin and I am joined this evening by the wonderful Hayley Kruger. <laughs> now, we've been chatting um, in the break a little bit about lovely Hayley and the work that she does outside of Jewelry Maker. And um, you... You work a lot with precious metals do, yeah. and with a lot of people who enjoy kind of crafting their own yeah. pieces. Soldering yeah. has got to be a pretty popular medium as it stands at the moment in time. It is, yeah. It's, it's the breakthrough skill that takes you from playing with the idea of working with silver to actually working with silver yeah. and then to making professional jewellery. Yeah. And it's almost that that stepping stone, yeah. isn't it? It's like the, the door to the next dimension, yes. really, I, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't expect next dimension, but I loved it. But it, it yeah. 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 Yeah, very Doctor Who of yeah. you. I could see you with the TARDIS. <laughs> um, we have got for you that next step that you need. And I will just say to you at this point in time, We've got soldering coming up for you as our first demo. The second set is is uh, similar but not so much in the sense of we're going to be working with different styles of settings and, yeah. Shall and I, gem I settings. Mention how we're going to do it. Yeah, go ahead. That's okay. a great idea. Yeah. So we've got we've got some amazing kits. In fact, there's really loads good. of kits. And the first one is quite charm heavy mm -hmm. and and wire silver wire so we're gonna i'm going to demo how to make silver rings with a wire mm -hmm. and then you can solder on the charms to make the rings which you can see in my samples and mm -hmm. then in the second demo later on we've got the bezel cups yeah, and i'm going to show you how to and you can do this with the charm or the bezel cup how to solder that onto your ring and it can be a simple ring, yeah. a stacker ring, or a gem set ring. So but one it, relates to the other. And it looks so impressive, and it really, truly does. You will, if you want to do that extent, you will want to get your hands on a kit from each hour. So a yeah. kit from the 7 o'clock and a kit from the 9 o'clock. You can just get one of each. If you do want a little sneaky peek of those beautiful... Um, piece of jewelry from the second kit as I mentioned before a few pictures are up on a uh, jewelry maker and also on Instagram as well so do feel free to go and look on that one um, we have got for you the first of our charm based kits if you will and what we're going to bring to you here is the opulence <laughs> of solid sterling silver with a professional edge to help you open the door to the next dimension <laughs> We're sticking with it. <laughs> Have a little look at what I'm bringing to you here and get ready to treat yourself to as many as you wish. I am bringing to you the Sparkly Stacker Ring Collection. Stacker rings are something which have been incredibly popular over the last few years. And we were, um, I posted on my Rebecca Redican Presents page a couple of days ago about Elle, the magazine, Elle UK, came up with their four kind of unusual trends that are a little bit different to usual. And one of the trends was described as heirloom inspired, which is essentially oh, yeah. lots and lots of jewelry all on at once. And it's almost a slant on the delicate dainty stack of yeah. rings. Everything for 2020 seems to have got bigger. Yeah. We're talking bigger earrings, bigger hoops, bigger chains. Mm -hmm. So if you love that stack of look and it wants it to be simplistic and delicate and dainty, I would definitely say treat yourself to this version. If you want something that's maybe a little bit bigger and bolder, I'll say treat yourself to the other just because there is a slight variation in size there. But of course, it's each to their own and they're great to be able to mix and match. Yeah. What do you love about this sparkly stacker ring collection? Well, they're really pretty. They're really sweet. They've, they've got cubic zirconias in them. Um, you've got butterflies and hearts. Who doesn't love those? Mm. They sell incredibly well. Um, and... Uh, and um, yeah, they sell incredibly well. If you've made little pieces, now I've made stacker rings as well as some earrings out of these charms. You could make a whole suite out of a, a one little set. Mm. Um, you can 
You can keep it simple. You can just have it. Do you hand in me some of these rings, please? Yeah. So, oh, perfect. Sorry, we're just looking at them now. Yeah. I, you know what I'm like? I just want to have it on my hands. I know. Uh, <laughs> look at those. Yeah. So that's, Look at them. I mean, the, the cabochon is obviously from the second kit, but yep. it just shows you how the techniques all lend themselves to one another. And so this is from another kit? That's this one. from the second kit. Yeah. Um, and that's actually been personalised. So you can take the charms and you can make them your own. Mm. This particular first batch... They're really sweet. Yeah. They're really, they kind of lend themselves to somebody who's got, who's pretty in their, in their manner. You know, mm. they like pinks and pastels. Yeah. Somebody who likes fairy tales, maybe a younger mm. person. Mm. Yeah, very sweet. So from this kit, obviously, let's count up from this one alone how many you've made. So you've made the pair of earrings, you've made two pairs of earrings, you've made a made four pairs of earrings. From this one alone. Oh, sorry. No, 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 it's all right. Yes, yes. So you're making two pairs of earrings, and you've got the little delicate ring and the one with the heart on it. So yeah. that alone is four pieces of jewelry. Yeah. But obviously, you had some left over as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bear that in mind, because the price we're about to go to now, you are going to be working with a professional element that is solid sterling silver, creating one of the biggest trends that has been going for the last 18 months and looks like it's set to continue for 2020. £27.95 pence today. I think that is truly an absolutely exceptional, oh, it's the perfect fit, <laughs> absolutely exceptional price point. And just look at how beautiful that looks looks as a design it's stunning i love it's cute, isn't it i think that is just so yeah. beautiful and that is genuinely something that i could imagine heading into any high street yeah. store and purchasing absolutely how should you personally be looking at selling something like that for i know it's, it's hard to say yeah, but it's an it's, average it depends on where you're going to be selling it mm. but i would say maybe 30 pounds 35 pounds maybe Bargain. even more yeah great price yeah yeah great price because you've got precious metal here, yeah. you've got that beauty here, and let me just show you the professionalism in this finish, and that's what I think soldering can give to yeah. you. Yeah. It is real professionalism. And now, oh sorry, Central, go on. That's gorgeous on its own because it's got a little butterfly on there, but there's so much wire in the reel that you could actually make. Um, I made a nest ring out of the wire, but you could. I made all the earring hooks out of the wire, but you can also just make simple plain stacker rings, mm. bands, which Brilliant. is what I'm going to demo, Brilliant. and then stack those on alongside your little charm set. Gorgeous one. idea. And and there's so much you can do with it. I'll show you. Let me grab the sample for that one. <gasps> yes, please. So it's not I have my eyes on yeah, this one. Yeah, this one isn't really a stacker. It's kind of a. Oh, Crossover ring. That's two rows of oh, wire soldered well. together. So it's a little bit more technical that one, but it just shows you how you can experiment with the idea of it. That is divine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. There is serious opportunity with this and serious opulence with this as well. If you have got that you know, now it's an opportunity to create something very versatile, then one of this, this one kit would be great for this look. If personalization, and maybe you're someone who's more into interaction of silver light as opposed to sparkle, then I would suggest this second kit, because although these hearts here I have got one set of the cubic zirconium within them. These ones don't. So tell us what you appreciate about this Oops. kit, which does <laughs> just to give you all the well, actually, kit. I love one that one, that one, that little disc, because although uh, on the sample I made, I put an S on to personalise it, I actually like it plain. Because I think it's got that impact of solid, it's highly polished, it's got a beautiful finish. Um, and I think that as a stacker ring, piled together with mm -hmm. some simple bands, just has... It catches your eye. Completely. And the little beaded detail around the edge, mm. oh, I love that. I think it's really clean cut, but a little bit bohemian. Yeah, it's divine. It's almost like a piped edge, isn't yeah. it? Let's talk about the hearts now, because these, to me, are just a nod towards that of Tiffany. I think they are divine. Yeah, now that's more of a pinky ring, that one, but... Love this. Could I have it as a midi ring, do you think, yeah. or a demi ring? Oh, yeah, that's a nice midi ring. Put it on that one. Oh, I'm set for the day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that, you're right about that trend with it all piled on. That does look good, doesn't it? It really does. Mm. It works for it, doesn't it? 
and um, you can see and I love how that sort of suspended so beautifully that that wonderful effect if that heirloom inspired design is your trend of 2020 and I did a vote for it on my page and it's close to the top at the minute I would get both kits yeah. because you are going to learn this technique and if you're anything like me you're going to become so obsessed yeah. that you're just making and making and making 2340 on this one now let me just remind you, you're getting um, of the My Heart with the Cubic Zirconia, which is solid sterling silver, you are going to be getting five of those, you're getting three of that sort of piped edge um, beauty in these ones here. Three of those on, and you're getting a meter of your one mil, twenty three pound forty. That's a lot. Uh, no, it's a lot. You get a lot for your money. Yeah. And and what's <laughs> what's what's worth pointing out as well is, even if you don't make stacker rings, you've mm -hmm. got loads of charms that you could make. That, that's for your gift drawer. Yeah. And you've got loads of wire that you can make findings with. You can make rings with. You can make toggle clasps with. You can do anything you want with. So. To be honest, it's just a, a stash building kit as well. It's a good one. For, that's mm. a perfect way of putting it. Stash shop ripper. You know, even if you're brand new and the first thing you bought was one of those sliders, because mm. they're really popular with people who are just starting, you know, doing a little bit of a bar detail to add one of these on in the middle, yeah. you've got everything you need. You make your own jump rings. You yeah. add on a heart. Absolutely. Set. Happy as Larry. Yeah. Enjoy those ones whilst you can. I know you're all waiting for the solder, right? I have got that coming up for you. I've got the tools as well. Um, but do grab the kits whilst you can because, as we say, if you are anything like me and you become obsessed with this sort of thing, you want to make sure you've got plenty to play with whilst we've got it on air. We are going to dive on into a demo now and obviously as and when we're bringing things on, we will bring the graphics on for you. Two things I really, just before we dive in, want to give you a heads up about. Yes. Brand new to us. Right. <laughs> Well, so what I'm going to talk about now is pickle. Well, let's go flux first. So the bright okay. yellow liquid is um, when you're soldering, you cannot solder without flux. Flux is a fluid or a, a, an, an addition that you put on the solder joint area that helps the solder to flow. If you don't put flux there, it is not going to flow. And I had a class this week, actually, mm. um, and there was a few students who were so trying to solder and things were melting and not going right, and I said, have you added your flux? Mm -hmm. And in all three cases, they'd forgotten They'd to. forgotten. So, proof happened this week, you need flux. So, uh, an absolute essential. Then, once you've soldered your piece, you'll find that it often oxidizes or darkens or you get that soot on the, on the outside when it's burnt. Pickle. Pickle is a solution that we uh, mix with water and it cleans up the metal and it helps us to maintain a healthy surface or a clean surface from the metal and it means that then we go on to do some more work and more soldering, mm. it, it remains clean and the silver colour because it can darken the copper content and the silver can darken so that prevents that from happening. So another essential item for soldering. If you don't have those elements, you're probably going to... Come on, a little bit unstuck. Come unstuck. Yeah. So, we'll talk to you about when we use the flux, and we'll talk to you about when we use the pickle, yeah. and then once we talk about them, we'll bring them to you. Yeah. Can I just let you know, the sparkly stacker collection is back on your screen, and let me just let you know that that one was very, very popular, particularly, probably for all you magpies. Um, so, if you do fancy grabbing it, do feel free to do so now. Okay, Hayley, right. let's talk soldering, shall we? Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is, because we've got that one mil thick wire in, the, in the, both of those kits, mm -hmm. we're going to make a ring. Now, I've already pre-made a copper one, just Perfect. from 0.8 mil wire, which I'm going to use when we demo, as well as demoing with the sterling silver one, because Great. it sometimes it happens so quickly. Yes. And so I it's just want to... on and gone. Yeah, on yeah. and gone. So I'll have that there. But elements that are really important for soldering are a good join... So when we make our ring, we're going to cut the, the ring uh, and the edges so that they're completely flush. Mm. Okay. So when we form our ring, we've got our ring mandrel. Now, there's many ways of forming a ring, but a really useful way of doing it is on the ring mandrel, particularly when you're doing wire rings and with the uh, stacker-style rings. So I'm just going to pop on my glasses so I can see where I'm working. But Good plan. if you know your ring size and you've got the size on the ring mandrel itself, you work 
kind of towards that, but metal has a way of springing. Once it hardens up a bit, it springs bigger than you want it to be. So, Am I right in saying, Tom, we have one of these, or have I made that up? I think we do. Yeah, I swear, I've seen one in the show today. I might have I made it up. I think we do, up. yeah. So, if you're working to size zero, sorry, no. size O, oh. work higher up on the mandrel, at least two or three sizes up. So, this is nice malleable wire because it's quite fine. Mm -hmm. Put it nice and tautly round your mandrel, really tight so it lines up next to itself. And then what you can do, when it springs open, you can actually push it down to the size that you need it to be. And that way it won't spring up to a bigger size. So I'm just going to take it down to the O and then bounce it back. There we go. Now I've got the size I want and I'm going to cut that. So as I just mentioned, you need a good clean join. So okay. a nice flush join. If you've got mm. any lumps and bumps in your join and there's some spaces, that will not be a strong join and your ring may snap and okay. the solder join may not flow. Okay. So you can use a saw. If you're comfortable and confident with a saw, you can saw through that and get okay. a nice even join. Or if you've got some flush cutters, and because this is one mil wire, it's really easy to cut. Use the flush side, cutting one side of the wire only. And then we'll do the same by flipping the pliers around or the cutters around the other way. Okay. So we are going to bring some cutting materials to your screen. Go. So that, I'm not sure if you can see, but that's a nice clean flush cut on that side there. And then I'll flip it around and I'll make sure that the cutter, the flush side of the cutter is in the opposite direction so that the other side will be a nice clean join. And then to get that together, it's a bit tricky because if you try and push it together it tends to bounce because of that um, strength in the wire. So mm. you need to get some tension by overlapping your join area. And with wire it's quite nice and use, easy to do that. There you go. There, the join is now lined up. Ah, so and just that's staying by itself. It stays by itself. So just check from the top as well. So I've looked at it that way and it's nice and flush. Sometimes you get a tiny little step, and if you do get a step, just wiggle it about a bit till you get what you need. And then we can set up the actual solder area. So the join is good. Now I've got the elements that I need to use, okay? So flux. Now uh, I'll put some flux in position. <laughs> We've got to do the flux for you now. <laughs> so the flux, all you need is a little paintbrush. Now, um, the more delicate, the better, okay. because it's really useful to apply your your flux. So can I use that one? Absolutely, then? you can. Just to let you know, I'm going to be using 50 mil. You get in, sorry, 50 mil of this flux. Fabulous. And now, the graphics are now live. This is a hundred I've got exactly, and oh, this is a must. Go. Yes, an absolute must. So you get that liquid onto the join area. Um, and how, you, you're putting a tiny dab on. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you go all the way around. It's really important that it goes on the join, but if you get it elsewhere, no problem. If it were a chunkier band, you make sure you get it on the front and the back, or because it's liquid, it tends to seep through. That's 20% so. of the stock gone on that already. Okay. Yeah. Just, and this is probably why, it's £4.25. Oh wow, that's very good. And just as a reminder, if anyone has just tuned in and go, hang on, Flux, remind me again, this helps with your soldering, doesn't it? It tells the solder where to flow and it also protects the surface of the metal um, from melting and from just uh, not doing what you want it to do. So Perfect. it's a guide and it also is an aid to soldering, so pretty much an essential element of soldering. Great. So our flux is in position. 30% stock gone. What you also want to do is, before you start to heat it up, um, we've got our pickle there. I haven't set up the pickle pot, but I'm going to talk us through it. So you would prepare your pickle solution. It's usually about, I mean, they give you instructions on the pack, mm -hmm. but it's probably about half a cup to a half a litre of water. So this one here, for example, depending on how much you want, is saying one tablespoon of pickle to about 200 millimetres of warm hot water. Yeah, and I mean, I... You'll often see people use what we call it, or a slow cooker yes, um, to keep that at a low temperature and keep it on the low temperature because it works more efficiently at yeah. a low temperature. Mm. But if you don't have one of those, you can have a little bit, and I've got a small amount of the solution in, in a little ramkin. You can have it with some warm water and that will work absolutely fine. And when we talk warm water, we're not talking boiling, no, are no. we? <laughs> uh, you definitely don't want it boiling because if you had it in your pickle pot, um, your slow cooker, uh, 
at boiling, it actually evaporates very mm. quickly and it crystallizes. So it's a waste and actually you're breathing in that air and it's just, just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. And it, it damages the pot as well. Um, so yes, warm water is absolutely fine. And actually some, many people don't even use hot or warm water. They oh. just keep it cool. It just takes a little bit longer. Okay, yeah. So absolutely fine. So essential. So whilst you're setting everything up, you can have your pickle switched on or prepared. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our solder. Perfect. Now the pickle is now on screen. You're getting 150 grams. I know this is how long's a piece of string, yeah. but how many pieces of, how many rings maybe oh. could we use for 150 okay. grams? Okay, so it's not really about how many pieces you put in there. I mean, I do classes where I've got eight people in a class, they've all soldered a ring, and there's eight rings in there waiting to be pickled. Yeah. And you, that's fine, but... The length that you leave it in is really about how strong the pickle solution is. It's usually a few minutes, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes if the solution's been used a fair amount, and I have mine in there for weeks, yeah. um, it starts to weaken. It starts to be less effective. Mm -hmm. So when it starts to be less effective, it's still fine. You just might think, okay, it's time to change the solution yeah. now. Yeah. So, uh, and also it starts to discolor. It goes to like a bluey color, yeah. which is actually the copper changing the color of the metal. But the solution, then you know it's, it's on its way, mm. but it's still probably usable. Yeah. And just remember, this is brilliant because it makes things keep nice and high shine. It removes the likes of sort of oxidize. Yeah. It helps you remove residues and things, yeah. doesn't it? Just on that point, when it doesn't keep things shiny in that it's not something that's going to polish your jewelry. No, no, no. Unfortunately, you have to do that hard work yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it does it brings it. maintain the surface. It maintains, it. yeah, yeah. I will just let you know, um, way of half on stock has gone on yeah. that one. So, l we've uh, just popped the flux on and the um, beautiful pickle. Oh, you want me to see the sheets now? Okay, yeah. sorry. Two seconds. We'll show you how to use these in a bit. Yeah. But I'm bringing to you the three piece of soldering sheets now. And we have got these three sheets. We'll show you how to use them to, um, in a little bit. They are a very, very, again, high-end, beautiful piece of, of uh, metal, which, of course, is an essential for your soldering. Yes. Yeah. So what solder does is it's, there's, in solder, there's sterling silver, as well as other elements like zinc is a key ingredient in there. Um, the, way, the reason why there's zinc in there because it actually allows it to flow more easily. Sterling silver and fine silver doesn't flow quite so well, so that's why it doesn't fill up a join. So they've invented this. What we have here are three panels, which means they've got this. The reason for that is you've got easy, medium, and hard solder. Now, some people will know what that means because they've done some investigation or they've been on one of my workshops, but you might need to different strengths of solder for diff if you're doing multiple joins. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason for that is one will melt at a higher temperature, the next one will melt at a slightly lower temperature, and then the easy melts at the ev in an even lower temperature. So that if you've done a project and you've done a complex solder join, you don't want that to melt when you're doing the next When you're one. doing the next bit. So this That's particular pack, you've got three different numbers, one on each panel, and the highest number is your high, your hard solder, the lowest number is your easy solder, and the medium is in between. So really essential, and... Um, have we put the price on? That is an amazing price. Nineteen ninety-five. Yeah, really good. And if you don't know how to use this right now, don't worry, we'll show you in a bit. They are still available, so you can grab them. Okay, I'm with you again, Hayley. All right, can I take one of those solder you panels? Can treat yourself. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the hard solder, which is the 70. It's SS70. It actually is, um, I believe, let me just... Oh, no, it says 75. You've got 75 in yeah, there as well. So you've got 75, 60, no, 65, 70, and 75. Yeah. So that is your hard solder. So when you're cutting up these strips, now we've, we've got our join, and this, the theory with solder is less is more, okay? okay? So don't cut big, big, huge, chunky bits uh, with of the solder because it's a waste. You don't need it. And with sterling silver solder, you just need small, tiny pallions. Mm -hmm. So pallions are little pieces of solder, approximately one or two mil by two mil or one or two mil. And the way you cut these, now 
I'm going to cut them with tin snips. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, we, we were going to get tin snips. I'm sorry, I, I, uh, I've completely forgot. But many of you will already have these. So they are your sheet we cutters and your tin snips. Mm. And we'll, I'll show you... We're just you... having a little look. Sorry to interrupt. We're just having a little uh, look online. The next graphics yeah. may well be them. So to cut up the sheet, what you do is, it doesn't matter which direction you go in, you cut in tiny little strips across first. Does it matter on the thickness of strip? Or are you just um, keep, keeping it a mil or two? I'm keeping it, well, to be honest, it's a bit how straight is my cutting really but <laughs> and some days I'm a more a bit more accurate than others but it's it's I'm trying to be as accurate as I can but it doesn't matter too much if I go a little bit wrong because what you can do so I've cut along mm -hmm. and sometimes you get it curls around like that so if you just get some flat pliers to straighten it out a bit and then you cut across I'm just gonna move that brick actually I'll just go over the here. jewels tin snips are now on screen thank you uh, <laughs> Okay, so you do get your finger across where your little pieces are going to go there, cut down towards your table or your workbench, and then you'll see it. I don't know if you can quite see all the little pieces I've stuck on my finger. There you go. Yeah, they're tiny. And in actual fact, for the ring that we're about to make, or the rings we're going to make, they're actually a bit big. Which goes to show how far yeah. these little sheets go, yeah. which I think at first is a bit of a misconception. Yes. They look small, but it really is, they go yeah. so far. They really go far. Um, and especially if you're going to... Now, you might want to know why... Uh, so you've got your easy, medium, hard, and I talked about different multiple joints, but if you're doing things like... Um, earring posts and delicate jump rings, you can use the easy solder mm. and it flows a bit quicker. Okay, good tip. Okay. So, there we've got our solder cut, and now we're going to apply the solder to the join area. So, there's, a, there's various ways of setting up for solder. You can balance it on the top of the join, but a really nifty way of doing it is by, especially when you've got a ring, you place it flat on the block. And this is your heat proof block, isn't it's it? Your, your firing proof, block. Yeah. We're going to bring that on in a minute. Now, let me using some tweezers. Now you can choose whether you want to use tweezers, some people prefer to use a brush. And I'm going to swap those around because that's slightly bigger. Make sure on your block you've got an area that's completely flat and it's not bumpy so that when you line up the solder with the join it's actually touching. Mm. Now I can't flip that over to show you but it's resting directly underneath and you must have the solder touching both sides that are being connected together so if it's more over to one side it will possibly pull onto that side so it has to be in the direct middle of that join okay so if I bring this over if you're thinking oh I'd love to do this but I'm gonna need some sort of magnifying design yes. device <laughs> I've only got some on air in a bit yes <laughs> very <laughs> useful yeah Okay, can you see? I can, yeah. Minute, I know, but that's that's all we need. Okay, so I'm just double checking. Actually, I've I know we we've we've sorry, we're a few members of the team down today, so we can't show you that from the side. But as an idea, yeah, if my hand was solder, yeah, you have to make sure that there you go. Boom, there you in are. In the middle. Okay. Bingo, bongo, in the middle. Yeah. So Haley's the wire, of course. Yeah. I'll be the solder. That's it. So very important. Thank you. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Ben's going to get oh, a shot fabulous. on this Thank from the you, side. Ben. Here we go. Because it's important that you know you're doing it right, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Two on two. There we go. It's so, so tiny. So tiny, yeah. So you can see it on the silver one, definitely. Yeah. Let me see if I can realign that. Yeah. Okay. So that little copper ring, actually, it's a good thing to see this. It's, it's slightly been um, bouncing yeah. out of position. It's getting yeah. a little step, and that's what's putting it off. So if you do find that that's happening with yours, yeah, that's you can spend the time before you get it to solder to get yeah. it right. Right, you can see that Because it makes all the difference. Great. And again, I have got some things to help you see that if you need to get really up close and personal okay. later. Okay. All right. Yeah. So do you think we're good to go? 
get the torch on? Let's do All it. Right. Now, oh, first off, let me bring you the torch, actually. <laughs> Just several's doing it in a bit. Um, let me show you your micro flame butane torch. The thing to remember is that this is very, very easy to refill. This isn't something, because when I, when I first started seeing things like soldering, etc., I thought, blimey, getting a torch out like that know, sounds quite industrial it's, and yeah. scary. It's really not, is it? You know what? It's good to have a healthy respect for it. And to remember that it is dangerous, because it is, and accidents do happen. And so, yes, but you do, it, there is that fear there. Um, but as you're quite right in saying, with these little torches, it's so accessible. So accessible. Yeah. I thought you might have to go down somewhere to get very special, yeah. expensive oils to fill it, mm -hmm. or maybe there'd be some sort of, you know, added adapt attachments you yeah. needed. Yeah. But it's really, really low cost to refill. It's really easy to refill. This isn't the type of thing that you have to go to a specialist website to buy something to refill it. You can just nip down your local news agents. Yes. Your, your local yeah. um, garage. The garage, yeah, the supermarket. Um, and what, it, what you're getting is butane. Mm -hmm. It fills up with butane gas. So essentially, the reason why you can go to these places is because it's lighter fluid. Mm. Mm. So it's lighter fluid. And when you buy those canisters that refill the lighter gas, it's got a little uh, inlet at the bottom there. Yeah, so and pop it the um, it's like a male-female system, and it just pops in there. When you're putting it, when you're putting it in, make sure that all the, the buttons and whatnot, are, the safety catches are down, which mm -hmm. they are with these torches. It's nowhere near your body, so it's not pressing against it. It might ignite your body. And have it upside down when you're filling it in, um, because the gas that uh, travels in that direction. And you'll feel it's it. heavy, isn't it? Yeah, and you'll feel it cooling in the handle. Mm -hmm. Or if there's already some gas in there, it will start to splutter out the back. And that's absolutely fine. It mm -hmm. does evaporate. Mm -hmm. Let it sit for a few minutes. Let it stabilise and then you can then you can ignite it. Ready and ready to go. And just as a quick reminder before we get into it, this is a great tool for the likes of soldering, but you can use it for repairing. You can use it, of course, for uh, metal clays as yeah. well. Silver clay in particular will use this exact torch yeah, yeah, for. Yeah. Um, you can use it for wax work, candle work, argentium, yeah. of course. So there's loads of things you can use this for. $34.95. Yeah, and I just heard Ben saying, yeah, self-igniting. Some torches you buy, you actually have to have a match or something else to ignite it. To ignite it, yeah. And that's what's a little bit scary. Exactly, that's yeah, what scares scary, you. Yeah. You think, oh, I'm going to explode myself. Yeah. But um, it's got a little flint on the inside. On the inside that does it magically yeah. for you. So it feels better. And we are about to see that now. Let me just let you know if you have got any questions for the lovely Hayley, now text in. And also I've got slightly different but kind of similar techniques and kits coming up in the next kit as well. So if you do want to have a little nosy at them, photos are on um, Facebook of Rebecca Reddicon Presenter, but also Rebecca Reddicon Presenter on Instagram in my stories. If you want to see them catch the light, just because you might want to see how to go an extra step in your jewellery, that's coming up for you. But for now, let's get ready All so right. safety goggles always important yes. of course okay so I'm just gonna talk about stuff first okay. and then I'll do the demo would, it, would we be able to turn the lights on when I get the torch on thank you uh, so um, what we're gonna do is so I've already talked about the main elements about soldering so we've got our uh, good join tick we've yep. got our flux we've got our pickle um, and we've got the actual solder that's there yeah we've also got the safety block which is now on screen yeah. <laughs> this is your soldering block this is the type of block again you can use for silver clay etc yeah, yeah this is an imperative bit of kit really can I also say go ahead do I would get three now, and the reason why I get three is because usually, at least two, but maybe three, yeah. you can create a little hearth, and that's what I have on my workbenches. I've got one to do the work on and one behind, and in the studio here, I do it with three. Right. And it's much safer. Good okay? tip. So Great tip. So, obviously, um, if you're building up and your budget only allows one, one is absolutely fine. fine. But if you can, get at least two, maybe three. Okay, great. Um, so, you've got your solder block, you've got your joy, uh, your, your good join, you've got your flux, you've got your solder itself. Mm -hmm. The next most important thing is heat and heat conduction. So, we've got our heat, heat conduction. 
A common mistake that people do is they go straight into the solder join and they just hang about there and think, well, why isn't it, is it, isn't it working? Mm. So silver doesn't work like that. You've got to conduct the heat around the whole piece and then the solder will flow. So we'll do that first. And I'll talk about the flame because there's different types of flames mm -hmm. as well. So the lights are going down. It's going to get a little bit sexy. So <laughs> <laughs> we've, this torch is... Um, it can be a bit fiddly, so there's a safety catch underneath the ignition button. <laughs> Sorry, we are going to... That might be a little bit too dark just, too soon. I was going to say, it's quite dark, <laughs> that for now. So, there's the safety so catch. So, there's the safety catch. Um, on the front nozzle, you've got a little dial that allows you to get some oxygen in. So, you look for the hole and you look to see when the hole is fully open. Okay, it's open, and then you've got your ignition button at the back here. Okay, so you push that, and then this is the button that holds the, the torch on. If you don't push that, the, the flame itself will continuously uh, go away, it will fall mm -hmm. off. So on the front, where you've got that catch, now that it's on, you can adjust the flame. So sometimes you might need a slightly softer flame. So if I turn that so that less oxygen is coming into it, you see it softens down a bit. It's called slightly bushy flame. Yeah. But for soldering, we want the sharpest flame we can get. So you want to make sure that it's your deepest blue. It's the pointiest really one. Really pointy. Yeah, and you can, you can hear it. It actually sounds a bit more aggressive as well. Mm. looks mm. a bit sci-fi in that, with the lights mm, dimmed. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do the first one on the copper. And you... Put the, the bright blue part of the, um, the flame on the piece and you conduct the heat all the way around and watch as it goes orange and you should see your solder flow. Okay? That was super quick. <laughs> and take okay. the heat away. Now I'm going to go on to the silver. Okay. So it's super quick because it's a really delicate band. So direct the torch onto the silver wire. Conduct the heat all the way around. And as you're seeing a glow starting to happen with silver, it's sometimes slightly different. There we go. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Did you see it flash? Yeah. Okay. And then as soon as it's gone, switch your torch off. And then right. you can assess what you've done. We are going to turn the lights back up now. So don't adjust your tally sets. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So now so we've got a solid band. We have got a solid band. So it looks like it's discolored. That's absolutely fine. That's actually the flux that's turned that colour. Mm -hmm. And um, and also the, 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 the solder itself, it's just some of the copper content and the flux that it's discoloured, and that's why we pickle. So once it's cooled down, and you can leave it, leave it to cool there, or to put it on a steel block, or you can dip it in some water. And then when you've done that, you place it into your pickle solution. But... Don't forget, still available. Yeah, so into your pickle solution. Um, but there is a golden rule with pickle. You never ever put steel tools in your pickle. So never go into the pickle with your steel tweezers oh, or your pliers. The combination of the chemicals, yeah. the heat and the ferrous from the steel will create a plating tank. And if there are any copper particles in that tank, yeah. your sterling silver ring will then become a copper plated ring. So get into the habit of using copper tweezers, Did plastic tweezers, brass is fine, yeah. wood. But that, that is the basics of soldering. Isn't that? So exciting! Yeah. I absolutely love and adore it. And we are going to, in the next yeah. demo, go further into... We are. So the next one, we? we're going to solder our bezel cup onto the top of that. Mm -hmm. You're just brilliant. Well, you know, isn't it so... You're so easy to follow. And, thank you. Um, but it's really... It's, it's a fab. medium that's been around for... since beginning of time really yeah. I mean just imagine people were soldering the traditional way of soldering is actually because we have that little hole to let the oxygen in yeah. so they would have natural gases they would actually have fire and then they would <laughs> sorry that uh, the comments that we get sometimes in the background but anyway then they actually use the oxygen as, as introduced into the system with a pipe and they used to use um, like pig's bladders and what have you, to, to pump, wow. to blow oxygen onto that. And that was how they made gold jewellery, the most intricate gold jewellery. That's jewelry. just amazing. Um, we'll use... We'll oh, use we'll, that in the next yes. demo. Yes. Sorry, Tom's Yeah, we, we, there's so many stuff. new uh, well, There's so many things. Yeah, like, yeah, do yeah. you want more tools? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We do want more tools. We'll just time it we when do. we do the stuff. We'll, we'll time it right. Um, yeah. 
Thank How's you. How about I let you know that if you love Hayley <laughs> and you think, do you know what? I'd like Hayley in my front room. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> DVD. <laughs> now, genuinely, Hales, how many years have you been teaching? Oh, since about 2009. Yeah, no, maybe earlier than that. Mm. So, you, you've you got a lot of knowledge, as I think we can tell. And also, let's remember that Hayley is, is um, I don't know, you're kind of brilliant because you, you hit a lot of the marks in jewellery. It's obviously something that you went into in kind of an artistic manner, yeah. something that you studied, yeah. but then it's also something that you made a living from in the sense of selling pieces, also making a living in teaching yeah. people. And, you know, so there's a lot of layers in this. Yeah, and I loads think of loads of avenues. And I think that Haley's great because when you get DVDs like this one, um, what you will see is how all all of those layers play into the creativity so what I mean by that is when you're watching this DVD that shows you the hand, the hinged earrings we talk a lot about how you know saleable these pieces would be um, we talk a lot about how sort of simplistic these can be to make and therefore how that's quite good from a business point of view so basically there's a lot of things that although these are hinged earrings there are lots of little tips and hints of the trade that Haley shares in this DVD that I think will be great for you if you want to start out your business I will let you know the other good things about this DVD is a lot of things are discussed in this so things like wire work techniques are discussed in this. Things like copper sheet are discussed in this. Silver sheet is discussed in this and I have got silver sheet coming up for you actually I think. Um, we have also got for you um, with this the likes of the sort of very fashion forward hinged earrings as I mentioned before on my Rebecca Redican presenter Facebook page did a little, comp a little vote the other day um, about sort of a big trend for 2020 and you know statement earrings are one of those trends and in this DVD that is something that you can really explore and and go into so at four pounds and 95 pence although it's an hour's dvd then that you might think oh well that's only an hour's worth of making but essentially it could be a full day's worth yeah. of making in this to be honest it's it's the it's the kind of nod to taking you to play with that idea and to experimenting with it totally it? yeah there's actually quite a few techniques in there that you could actually use soldering with as well. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Like the hinging and yeah, things, are you thinking? Yeah, you could solder the hinges Soldering closed. it, yeah, yeah, for real security. Mm. Um, so, if you do want to get your hands on this, you can use it. Loads more of you coming through for this. Um, if you do want to get it, Say it again, Poppet. Oh, right, April. If you do want to get it, um, I've got silver sheets and stuff like that that you'll be able to work with in a bit. But before it, how's about I bring you something cooling, calming, and something, quite frankly, a little bit crazy. <laughs> Opal. It's calming. It's relaxed. But what we're about to do... It's definitely going to wake you up. There we go. Look at that freshness. It's fresh. It's fun. It's fantastical. <laughs> and I think it feels quite exotic as well. Yeah, it does. I think it looks a little bit like Larimar. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that's what gives you that exotic vibe about it, doesn't totally, it? Totally, absolutely yeah. agree. Yeah. But it's not. No. Get ready for your holiday. 32 carats worth of this beautiful opal. Don't you think that exotic colour is brought out even more in those facets? And I really like that. When you think of opal, you tend to not think of facets, especially not with Ethiopian opal on its way. 9.95, I like it. But right now, we're going to do a 60% bill. Ah! Let's get ready, let's get ready, and let's get ready for deals. Let's do it. Faceted opal, £3.95 for you. No! I cannot believe what we're doing with this. I cannot believe 
how bold and bright and intriguing this is. We have got so, so much coming up for you in this show. How great would this be with your silver? This is silver. We'll explain to you why it looks like this in a minute. But yeah, imagine this with your silver. That's going to look gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I oh, love the opal. Go and on. just the silver sheet, the yeah. DVD, yeah. and then you can embellish the hinged earrings with the opal. With the opal. Yeah. And solder the hinges. Et voila, your whole new business could be complete. Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. Um, I want some commission, please. Yeah. <laughs> we'll send you a percentage. Okay. Um, <laughs> loop de loo on the phone lines. What do you love about this, please? It's kind of weird. For an opaque gemstone, it's got a glow about it. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah. And it'll partly be to, to do with the fact that this is an opal, and therefore opals as a minimum will have about 20% liquid yes, within their okay. makeup, basically, because it's silica-based, but also yeah. they kind of, the way in which they're suspended. So because of that, you get this sort of opalescence, even though it is an opaque. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Nearly sold Colours down. Sorry. Let's do the stone silver sheets now, if I may. Which one would you like to start with, Poppy? There's a lot there. There is. Would you like me to start with the square or the rectangles? Yeah. And then you want the thickest or thinnest? Ah! Should we do the one I haven't dropped? <laughs> Let's do the one I haven't dropped. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, let me bring to you. So this one is your 0.8. I've dropped the one mil. This is your one mil. So we talk about one mil. We obviously aren't talking about size. We are in fact talking about thickness, which is easier to see in real life than it probably is for you. But there is a difference yeah, in the thickness that you should yeah. be able to see it slightly. So uh, one mil, your thicker one. Tell us a little bit about sterling silver sheets like this, please. Well, sheet is used for all sorts of things from making rings, so you could cut a strip of that, probably with the more rectangular ones, and then you could mm -hmm. turn it into a ring Great. and solder it as I've demoed. Mm -hmm. You could cut it out into a charm. You could, uh, you, and there's a lot there, so you could do multiples, you could do a whole collection. But the one mill is really good because it's really thick, so yes. it's really sturdy. Um, so if you're doing anything that's going to be bashed about a bit, like a ring, yeah. this is going to be brilliant for you. And the lovely thing with that versatility is that you are getting something really opulent here, aren't you? Yeah, I mean... Because it's 23 grammars. It's that feels expensive, it looks expensive, and it is... There is an intrinsic value with this, isn't there? Ab absolutely. Uh, sterling silver is has value. It's um, it's it's a part of the bullion range. Yes. So it's traded on the stock market. Yes. Which means that it's got value. Completely. It means people buy it for a commodity. For a commodity. Yeah. So, yeah, you can you can do just that. You can you know invest in it. And bearing all of that in mind, the facts that we're bringing to you. Twenty nine ninety five on twenty three grams yeah. worth. That's yeah. incredible, that's isn't really it? That's really good. So that's an unpolished sheet, mm -hmm. um, which is actually a good thing because in the past we've had polished pieces, yeah. and then as soon as you start to work with them, you end up scratching them, and it's as though it's, it was a kind of a waste of time. Mm. But um, but with this, you would have to do the polishing and cleaning up yourself. Okay. So what we've got for you here is your opportunity to really um, enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy also, if you've got a hammer, use hammer texturing or personalise it. You're not going to damage anything because it's it's in uh, it's unpolished. It's in a, a natural form. And also, what you have here is it looks a little bit whitish, and yeah. that's the true colour of silver. Yeah. Silver is actually white. It's mm -hmm. only when it's been polished that it actually that looks. That it actually yeah, goes shine. high shine. Yeah. Let me bring to you now the 0 0.8, so slightly finer, so slightly white, lighter in its gram weight. The great thing about silver is it is, you know, you can essentially spread this to be much, 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 much larger than it is with a few techniques such as hammering. It is, in essence, one of the more, let's say malleable, just for a simplicity of that word, one of the more malleable metals. So this, you know, if you, for some reason, you know, don't really mind on thickness, but you want, um, you know, a larger expanse so it results texture, even a small amount of this can be spread out to be quite a large piece, can't it? Yeah. Absolutely. When you do hammer it, it does actually spread it a bit. Expands, yeah. Yeah. So you can, if that's what you're going to do, you're going to get more for your money anyway. Mm. Um, 
0.8 is 22.95. What's good about the slightly finer thickness? Um, it's just a bit more easy to manage. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not particularly confident with sawing, because you would probably need to saw with the one mil, the 0 0.8 you could just about get away with cutting with your tin snips. Perfect. Um, it's still a little bit tough on the hands, but you could definitely do it. And particularly with this sheet, they've been super annealed, so they're nice and soft to work with. And we ha did have the shears on earlier on. Just look on jewelrymaker.com or yeah. simply ask the call centre for those if you want to grab them. We have got more silvers and things coming up, but let me just remind you whilst you're there, um, on the show this evening, we have already shown, shown you soldering. We are going to almost take a little extra step into that in our next demo that's happening in the 9 o'clock. I also want to say to you as well that the Super Saver Baltic Amber Showcase is starting after the break. This is a never before seen kind of event, including that of a Baltic Amber guaranteed large insect. These are the types of things that you go to Gdansk and you will see them, if not in a museum, but for three, four hundred pounds worth, um, you know, in, 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 for a guaranteed piece, um, bringing it to you at a super saver price today. I'm going to bring to you now the rectangular pieces in your one mil. And as I'm looking at this, again, I'll show you the difference in thickness just to show you, but when I'm looking at these, I am oh, yeah. most certainly thinking, surely the amount of rings I'll be able to get yeah. out of these is huge. Yeah. Almost in this kind of gorgeous overlap way, something you like this yeah. could be created, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, there's a couple, of, you can do what we call a crossover ring or a, sometimes it's called a bypass ring. And you ah, probably yes. only need about seven or eight centimetres worth. So how? Well, we're well, looking at around that, about yeah, 10, 10 centimetres. So you could, uh, depending on the size of that you measure up at, you could get a really interesting detail. You could actually overlap it on itself or you can do it side by side. Lovely. Mm. So there's plenty, again, of opportunity because of the amount you've got. And let's remember, 23.95. If we were to do, let's go wild and say 10 centimetre long rings, yeah. how many rings would I be able to get out of this? Because that's not one ring's worth, is Well, it? you've got two centimetre width. So if you did a one centimetre wide band, that's two rings. Or if you did point... Don't ask me to do my maths now. You can probably get three bands out of that, I Isn't would that say. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah. When you consider that three bands of solid, precious, you know, luxurious 925 yeah. or 23.95, yeah. And the fact that you've got all of your own personality in yeah. there would be brilliant. But also, am I right in thinking, let's say we wanted to do seven centimetres of this, that, you know, seven centimetres, that could still be three rings yeah. or whatever. And then could we do a charm or maybe yeah. even earrings with yeah. this? So actually, it could be three very luxurious rings or it could be three more... Non-soldered rings. Non-soldered yeah. rings, yeah. yeah. And then a charm or a set of earrings. So there's plenty you can do with this. Yeah. Final one now, and this is the last I have. We're bringing to you the 0 0.8. So again, sorry, you're 0 0.5, I apologise. Oh, brilliant. So you're 0 0.5. So we've got eight and a half grams in this one. So the other ones we would often refer to maybe as more structural. With a 0.5, what's good about this one, Hale? Well, I always use 0.5 gauge sheet in the workshops because we don't saw, do any sawing. So right. it's really, really lovely to work with, particularly when you're using your sheet cutters. So if you've got dexterity uh, issues, if you battle with your hands in any way, this is a lovely gauge to work with because okay. you can bend it really easily and you can cut it really easily. Mm -hmm. So very, very useful if you are maybe starting out and you're yeah. thinking, let's just give it a try. To be honest, and I know we Go sold on. those tin snips, but you can cut it with scissors. <laughs> and we have got for you today your 0.5 mil thickness. And it's just. Wow, that's really so good. So this is the great thing. We mm. want to get you started. Right, so mm. let's say you've never tried anything like this before, but you love that demo, you got your hands on the odds and ends, and you just want to give it a go, you want to sort of introduce yourself in a really affordable way, this is definitely a great one to get. If you've already given it a go before and you're absolutely hooked, then definitely make sure you're getting at least one of each of the gauges or each of the shapes so that you can really develop yourself. And speaking of development, let me remind you, nine o'clock hours, slightly more developed um, soldering techniques are on there 
way for you. Many multi buyers in on this one, an absolute massive amount of you. Eight and a half grams worth you've got here. And just as a little reminder as well, coming up for you, is this in the next hour, I think? What do you think? Because I love the idea of those together. Mm. Just yeah. to put a bit in hair then. Because it's a little bit of a silvery, light white hue within that bead, isn't there? Totally. So. I just love that stone. Let me bring you these now. Spaces. For all of you sparkle lovers. For all of you stretchy bracelet lovers. Yeah. If you love doing stretchy bracelets and you're thinking, how on earth am I going to cover up that little knot? Or how am I going to use one on each side of a bead to really highlight it? Then here's your opportunity. Yeah. Nice size aperture, serious sparkle, not a serious price though. It's pocket money. £2.95 for you on these ones. And the lovely thing, as we've said, is use them in between your gemstones to make them go further, etc. We've got so much still to come for you on this show these are flying out the door so much more to come for you still on the show and one thing that i will um sort of highlight to you is more demonstrations to come but also i have got more of those super savers and tonight with it being such a sort of special exciting opportunity to give you super savers we thought seeing as my adventures off in Gdansk with um some of our team members um last year we thought why not let's bring you some two things that you love you love a bargain and you definitely love your baltic amber yeah. after the break a one-off special opportunity and this is not to be repeated we are going to be doing prices for you that i will not guarantee again so if you fancy grabbing baltic amber and an absolute steal stay tuned <laughs> If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the program guide on our website. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. 
We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Um, what a show it's been thus far with the soldering, with the precious metals, with all the tools, with all of the finessers, with everything we've brought you so far. And quite frankly, you may well expect that once we're up to this point and this peak of creativity and peak of precious metal love and gemstone love, that maybe we're going to take a break until our next fabulous demo. But no. No. Oh. We are going to keep <laughs> up the energy and keep up the excitement. And what I'm going to offer to you right now is something very, very special indeed. And what I briefly, briefly want to share with you is um, a couple of, of uh, photographs of a stunning place that is the wonderful world of Gdansk. Um, Gdansk, as you may well know, is part of the Baltic coast, and it is this wonderfully magnetic location. This itself is the main uh, sort of centre, let's say. We are looking down here on what's known... Oh, my battery's dying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's known as the Royal Way. And um, this incredible location has history built within every single stone. Um, a lot of you may well know that it's actually um, one of the main locations of the sort of start of uh, the World War. And what you may well know about this also is the fact that in this location... A lot of those buildings that you're looking at now were actually um, built back brick by brick to create Gdansk as it once was. Literally, when you're looking at this location, when you're walking around, the, for, the, for example, Mariatha Street there, what you are sensing is the history of the building. There is Mariach Street, which is known as uh, around there as the amber, uh, sort of amber street, where they sell all of these different types, ropes and ropes of amber. When you're looking at this, this is the Amber Museum, you are sensing the history in each stone. And I genuinely believe that when it comes to history, no other organic quite comes up to the status of the stone I am about to offer to you. The fact of the matter is, what I'm about to bring to you are historic, dating back a minimum of around about 40 million years old. Historic, captivating, unique stones, which cannot be guaranteed in any way, shape or form. When we are bringing to you ambers, we are bringing you something that cannot be super duperly enhanced by Mother Nature, something that cannot be, uh, sorry, by man, that cannot be over-processed in the way that we can. What we have got for you here is something very special indeed. It is something which has intrinsic value, intrinsic history, and for me, at these super saver deals, something that I know full well, I am not 
going to do again. This is something that is for the last time. This is one-off and one-off only. Our prices are not only going to go back up at 8 a.m., but these are not to be repeated again. These are one-off completely, absolutely. This is not a... Well, if we end up with, say, 10 left of these, then we might do a clearance price on those at a later date. This is a super saver saved for today because you've got me, you've got Amber, and we're giving you this deal today and now. So, get ready, get raring. I'm about to bring you Baltic Gold as a incredible Steve super saver. You saw some of the Gdansk Ambert Museum there, right at the top of that Royal Way. You go into that location and you can see so many incredible things. If you go on Rebecca Reddick and present it on my Facebook, you'll be able to see a uh, Fender Strat made of amber. Wow. You will be able to see a uh, ships made out of amber. You will be able to see incredible pieces of jewellery, of course, made of amber. You will also be able to see in the amber Amber Museum, which is this building right here, you will be able to see big, huge, raw pieces of amber that have magnifying glasses over the top of them so that you can see, just like you are here, into wow. the stones so that you can see ancient historic insects that will no longer exist <gasps> on our planet and that is exactly what you have the opportunity to get in this piece now the fantastic and incredible and shocking and amazing thing about this right here right now is myself and marius who is our connection in the uh, jello uh, warehouse and and him and his brother started this company started this business Business. It's something that they used to absolutely love. This, when I launched this pieces for you with Marius, and this is a couple of years ago now, he absolutely was baffled at that launch price. It was $29.95. And I understood why. When I went down to my reaction street and saw these at 200 to 300 pounds for small pieces with insects in. But actually today, take that and throw that away. These are ancient insects. They, a lot of them will not last anymore. Good luck one and all, 29.95. This is a close. Let you know, and this is uh, completely and absolutely the honest truth. I struggle with price points like this because yeah. I feel like this is diminishing actually the value of this and I am well aware that when I bring you this next time at £30, £40, £50 I will sit here and say that is a sensational deal. I always think it's so important I say this when prices like that come up. Yeah, when I, I sit here and say that's £30, that's £40, that's a great price, I promise you I actually mean it. The fact that you've got, just gotten it at that price is a steal. Whilst you're there, grab your luxury, grab your luxury luxury items for less. This is cherry amber, the deepest rambunctious amber colour. If you like those autumnal hues, this is the one for you. Do you like the shape of a round? Yeah, bet. It's one of our most versatile, isn't it? Do you like 12 mils? How often do you get to be able to purchase 12 mils in amber? Because it's a luxury item, isn't it? Today is your chance. This has been seen on the web. Say, at higher prices. But we have never ever bought a better deal than at that on this strand than the price on screen. Until now. This is not time to hang around. This is Baltic Amber Cherry is one of the more sought after colours because of the richness you get within it. It's £28.07 and pence for you today. This is not always the case. Remember, cherry amber as a general rule, and it is a general rule, but as a general rule, cherry amber for your clear ambers is one of the most expensive because you may or may not know this, but as a general rule, and there are things that book the trend on this, but as a general rule, if you've got a lighter amber, like a lemon amber, it's often described as a younger amber because essentially um, it's it's to do with the amount of tiny, tiny little bubbles within it being lost and escaped, etc. Things and, and pieces will age over time. And in fact, in the Amber Museum, there is a chess set 
and if you go on my Rebecca Reddick and presenter on Facebook, I have got a picture of it on there. Um, but there's a chest set, and there's a picture of before and after, and you literally the colour of the amber has changed over time. And this darker, richer colour is how it becomes after years and years and years. That luxury has sold out. It's sold out. It's sold out. Let's stick with the amber. Let's bring you something that is perfect. If you are into the likes of maybe, um, oh, what's his name? Disney character. Da, 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 da. Yes, Jack. <laughs> Jack the Pumpkin King. Am I thinking of him or am I thinking of... Jack and the Beanstalk? No. Fella who, uh, the fella who... Yeah, no, it is Jack, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sunday. Jack Skellington, thank you. Uh, His full name, Jack Skellington. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. But that's the kind of look you've got with this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Jack Skellington. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Um, but the great thing about this is it's got that kind of fairy tale feel. Uh, of course, for you Halloween lovers, it's fantastic. But also, I kind of like the quirky, gothic y kind yeah. of feel in this. That, those. Um, you know, that kind of playful nature to this, I think, yeah. is brilliant. Uh, the fact that you've got three ambers suspended within this is incredible at the best of times. No drill hole in them, so it's completely uninterrupted. But the fact that you've also got that wonderful silver detail over this makes it even more spectacular. Okay, this is, a da this is just one to, to treat yourself to now. If you are thinking of giving this, saving this for Halloween, which you could, of course, you know, pumpkin skulls, etc. They're all year long now, aren't they, with people's tattoos and things like that. But if you are thinking of just saving this till Halloween, actually consider how much a bag of sweets would be, you know, around Halloween to give out to the young people, the kids. But think about maybe this is a gift for a best friend or the poor, you know, mum or dad who's been traipsing around <laughs> in the freezing cold, taking the kids out. You know, you're going to become a firm favourite on your street, aren't you? This is genuine precious metal and I'm going to be controversial here but if you wanted to and please you be careful with this it is silver so if you did want to ease open the uh, these joints here the sort of um, oh, how do we put it bars let's say if you wanted to ease those open and very carefully take out the amber then you could just have the amber as something separate no drill hole in there so you could set it and have that as something by itself I've got to move on this is a very busy hour let's move on now and let me bring to you the 5 mil multicolour you have got what appears to me to be some butterscotches on here butterscotch is very 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 high cost indeed let me bring to you the final 20 of these only final 20 now imagine these in these designs I'm obsessed with these rings um, but imagine you know <laughs> I love the idea of like adding one of these maybe as a little charm to one of the details because yeah. charm rings again are very much in aren't they straight in straight on straight down bargain price point for what you're getting there multi-buyers in less than 15 now we have got for you on these ones less than 15 now the amount of color is absolutely sensational and do you know what i'm thinking let's imagine doing here we go let's imagine making that into a bracelet oh love yeah because oh, wow. this is a double drill stone yeah. and ambers i've got coming up for you super savers in a bit but imagine that. How luxurious is that going to look with that? And, and of course, it's going to make your stones go further, but it's also going to highlight them. I'm going to do these for you now. It's double drill holes, okay? Double drill hole, double the work, don't forget. So, bringing to you everything selling out thus far. It's Amber, you voted it as your second. It was your favourite organic. In fact, it's the highest up an organic has ever come in your favourite gemstones <laughs> of the year. Even Pearl has never got this popular and this amount of um, interest. So, Amber, you know, it's your favourite organic, proven by you and your votes in our awards this year. Um, but, yeah, bringing it to you now in this wonderful cabochon cut, which is, as you will have seen, Seen on the video I've shown you before and um, very difficult to do in amber and you've got the added work of a double drill hole yes, on the yeah that's extra tricky isn't it to be able to do that to be able to complete that I love this color it's fresh isn't it yes it really is it's quite singing you if you team that with there's so many other colors and gems mm. that you could team mm. that with greens um, you can bring in your citrines actually just looking over at things like aquamarines mm -hmm. and and that that um, that green amethyst that we had on earlier would look amazing against this color as well so 
So many. Oh, look at that. In it's action. just incredible. And the fact of the matter is, you know, when you're cutting things like this, you have to be incredibly quick. It's an organic. It becomes yeah. very, very hot because of that. This is a. This is how you create like rounds and things with that tool there. So you create those rounded edges. And can you see actually the interesting point on this is fourteen ninety five. The interesting <laughs> thing with this is that. You um, you see, you, if you saw before that dripping water, yeah, they're, they're wet because there's water dripping on these. Because as soon as you get that blade coming around, it conducts the heat. It becomes too hot. So to do a double drill doesn't mean you can just go zzz, zzz. You actually have to have four attempts, basically, to do it. There's so much work in this. $14.95. Let's bring to you, for all of you Beatrix Potter lovers, maybe, whether it's Jemima Puddle Duck or whether you're just, um, hang on, an animal lover in general, let me bring to you the Duck of Amber now. I love the fact that you've got the connotations with the water and the water. Remember, amber was often known as the um, sea stone because people believed before they knew that it came from ancient trees. They believed that it was something which was created by the ocean because the only way they would find it is it would get washed up on shore. Um, Becky, yes, it is an amazing place to visit. Loving the show. Hayley, you were amazing. Love watching your demos oh, and that's it. From Thank Gail. You. Thank you. Yes, Gail, I remember you saying about going and exploring. What's your favourite pet part? What was your favourite bit of it? Tell me. And and also let me know what you were thinking of some of the prices, because varies greatly. Um, let me bring to you now your Baltic cognac duck, and I am bringing him to you today. <laughs> and a fantastic opportunity. That price point is brilliant because just think about how difficult this shape is to cut. And let me just also let you know that, um, you know, when myself and Marie and Claire and Alan went to um, Gdansk, a lot of the time what we were doing was we were going down with pictures, drawings, hand drawings and saying, could you make this for us? And they were going, hmm, we'll have a go, we'll have a try. And they actually have to do a 3D picture of it onto a computer and then it gets printed off in a 3D printer to create the mold and then they have to cut the amber and try it and make the wow. silver itself. $7.95 for it. This is from a sketch that was done here and that's exactly the type of thing we'll do to create these. And we'll say, we want X, Y and Z done and they'll go, gosh, we, we've never even cut this shape in our lives. Why would you need to? It's so yeah. niche. And um, <laughs> £7.95 for all of that work, all that time, all that effort, but it's worth it for all that beauty. Seize the moment on this one. Can I just stick as well with the um, creature theme as well? If you do fancy grabbing your hands on um, a water-loving creature, I've got a swan on its way. It's, it's very, very much different though. In fact, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do it next, sorry. And here you go. This is the one we're getting for you. That sold out essentially, that duck. You can see how sizable this is. Show you the next switch. Look at that. What I really love about this swan is, is what it represents. I believe that, well, do you ever think this? Do you ever give a piece of jewellery just because you think it's pretty? And then sometimes do you ever give a piece of jewellery because you think of what it's actually saying to that person? Because for me, when I think about the swan, I think about sort of the old adage about them kind of looking all serene on the surface, but actually paddling, you know, ferociously under the water. It's said to be a, a synonym or a, um, yeah, a, a synonym of, of maybe people going through difficult times. Maybe it's a good one for... People who, you know, move in house or... Mums. Mums, exactly, yes. People like that. So I think this is one of those really lovely, elegant, thoughtful pieces. Tom's saying it is just a nice design too. And yeah, it absolutely is. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. We have got for you, and the most exciting thing about this one, I believe, is the different colours in this. So this is the only one I've got, the only one, I think, that's got the greens within it, the green rounds within it on silver, okay? It's the only one I've got. Green, very, very rare and scarce. It, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. 
seven pounds and 95 pence for you today if you want to treat yourself to it you have the opportunity now this is so expensive looking this is so luxurious yeah. and even taking out the amber of this which let me just remind you is um you know light as you possibly uh, can be then this is let me just show you this, just because I think it's really important to remind you. Have I got my weighing scales about? Is that uh, yeah, right next to you. metals in this? They're right in front of my face. <laughs> of course they are. Let me just give this away. So, zero grams, gram weight on that, it says 380. And let's remember that amber is very, very light. We're doing the... Let me do the leaf next, because whilst I'm on this point, let me just show you, this is your design you're going to get, it's on zero, 00 at the minute, I'll pop it on here. You're looking at 2.69 now, and I know what you're thinking, you're going to look at this and you're going to go, Bex, there's four pieces of amber in that, so obviously that's going to weigh it down. But let me just remind you that this right here is a piece of amber. This is a piece of amber in a weighing scale. That is a relatively large piece of amber, as you can see. It's about the size of two to three two pound coins stacked on top of each other. If I now zoom out of this picture, can you see what it's balanced with? It's balanced with the top of a feather. So that just goes to show how lightweight this is. So when you get pieces like that, and it is measuring, and it is weighing, should I say, you know, over two and a half grams, of, wow. of in weight the vast majority of that is made up in the silver it's and in this instance gold yeah do you know that you can get different types and values of gold let me remind you nine carat gold very affordable 18 carat gold more expensive as a minimum jello will only work with 22 carat or 22 four carat gold so this, what's against your skin, is going to be a minimum of 22 karat gold over solid sterling silver for that wonderful flourish design. This is the only gold I've got in the Super Savers, the only gold. You're getting that gorgeous flourish of design. We have not scrimped on metal with this because if I spin it to the back, look, even the fact of this, this layer of silver that carries on going, silver and gold, that you can't even see from the front, it's added detail. So for earrings, That's that a beautiful is perfect. Design. Uh, the back is as beautiful as the front. It really is, isn't it? Mm. That is a serious opportunity. Honestly, you may as well be treating yourself to this and doing yourself a set of earrings, because again, I'll show you the back of it, just so you can see it properly. But can you see that beautiful detail? It's a wonderful opportunity for you today. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. It's a real special opportunity. Very, very, very loads of you in on this. I will just let you know I have only got one amber left. I think. Good luck, every single one of you. I'm bringing to you now last set. This is your last one. As I don't, I don't really want to hold them no, in these anyway. But let me bring them to you now. Gosh, these with these and mm, top drilled. Last set, top drilled ambers now, and these are your 3D drop shapes. So that means that they're, they're not flattened, they're completely fully fledged, fully formed. Would you like to, if you are brand new and you are looking at these and you're seeing my pictures and you're watching those VTs and you're just thinking, gosh, I wanna be able to make with these. This could honestly be a really fab way of making a pair of earrings in less than 10 minutes and a charm for a charm bracelet to go with, let's say, the you know pendant I brought to you earlier on or whatever it might be. Now is your chance, 14.95. I'm guaranteeing you three. I've now got five left, five left, four left, three left, three left, three left, three left, three left. Nine thousand ninety-five pence for you. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Good luck. Well done. Just before I dive on into the Santa Maria, let me just take a second to say a huge well done to every single one of you. That is an occasion unlike anything else. Well done to every single one of you, and uh, if you did miss out on any of them, I do apologise. But we've got loads of things to make up for it on their way. Let me just remind you, on their way very soon. 
Oh, hello, Jade. <laughs> I've got the wonderful Hayley doing more pieces for us. And if you want a sneak peek of those designs, go and head over to um, Hayley's Facebook page, JM Guest Designer Hayley Kruger on Facebook. You can find her there. You can also go on Hayley Kruger on Insta as well <laughs> if you want. Uh, but yeah, have a little nose. These ones on the way. So we've got those still to come, but for now, let me bring to you the sensation that is one of the most famed yet rarely seen styles, types, locations, let's say, of stone out there. When you think of aquamarine, what do you hope for? Is it clarity? Is it colour? Yep. Is it workability? Because let's face it, we're crafters. Yeah. Are you ticking all them boxes? Are you being a, a bit pernickety? If you are, don't worry. I've got you covered. Look at the colour. With Santa Maria. Aqua Maria. We are offering to new a nuance of natural colour which has been independently tested as Santa Maria Aquamarine. When we speak about Santa Maria Aquamarine we are talking about the connoisseur's choice more times than not. If you are somebody who loves an indulgence of blue um, alongside the kind of diphanic then that is what you're getting here and the great thing is when you get diphanity and that clarity it really helps with fire doesn't it within the stone and that's totally what you get in here so if you love sparkle and shine of inner light and outer light this is the strand for you if you fancy it do you want to pick up the phone now because if you do pick the phone now you should be at the front of the queue to get this Oh, as a super special, stop by. I'm about to take it to bet the half price. Good luck, good luck, good <laughs> luck. Seize the moment, let's do it. 16 carats worth for you today. This is your chance. I've got multi buyers in. You know we're not mucking about here. Your Santa Maria Aquamarine, often seen as one of the most expensive per carat out there on the market for just $49.95. Can you imagine? Getting your authenticity with this, and it's up to you, but I personally would. Get your authenticity with this. Can you imagine handing this on to someone and them going, hang on, that looks like, that looks like, and then you just handing over that authenticity or maybe popping it in the box and then just knowing that you have gone to the extravagance of getting them Santa Maria acclaimed at Camarine. They wouldn't expect that price, would they? No, absolutely not. Isn't yeah. that incredible? What do you think about this, Hales? Well, the colour is just, the, the, I mean, the price, so it's, it's mind-blowing, quite it's frankly. It's boggling, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, But the colour, it's just so delicious. It's so, it's, you know, aquamarine can sometimes be quite washed out, can't it? But there is mm -hmm. no way that this is washed out. It is divine. And actually, looking at it alongside that ring, can you imagine it in between a double silver ring or white gold oh ring? Oh, my gosh, yes. Um, just in a channel-type setting, just divine. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I actually think you could use that as a single strand on a necklace with a sterling silver chain, and that would be a three-figure necklace. Or Agreed. More than that. Um, you can have several of those together in um, a cluster and you've got a stunning cocktail ring that's actually a high-end cocktail ring. And so high-end, especially, as we said, for that name. And you're totally right. I'm imagining all of these with that sort of, you know, silver work because sometimes, I think we often pair silver and aquamarine together as kind of a knee-jerk reaction. But actually what I love with this is, I want to pair this with silver because I want to see that colour bounce and pop, Yeah, that's you know? what it is, definitely, yeah. If you love the idea of working with silver, we have got soldering demos on their way with added extras. I don't want to tell you too much, but all will be 
revealed. Well done, everybody, on that one. Multi buyers in there, you got yourself a bargain. Okay. Ha. Oh. Is this star buy? It's on a star buy sheet. It is. Let's. <laughs> Everything's been a star by today. It has its special. Oh, thanks, Tom. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Because sometimes I think in the genuine gemstone world, it's very, very easy to get caught up in the likes of technicalities. Sometimes it's very easy to get caught up in chemical structures, in the way in which elements and ingredients are built together to create a stone. Sometimes it's very, very, very easy to fall into the history trap whereby we get caught up with all of the different meanings, different takes, different laws, legends and different movement of a stone throughout time. Sometimes though, it comes down to a simple question. And for me in this stone, the simple question, what's in a name? This stone gets its name from multiples of different ancient words. If we look back into ancient Greek, we are looking at a word that is klino or klino with an I-N. And that word is a derivative of a word meaning axis. I mean, doesn't sound that interesting, doesn't sound that exciting, but holding your mind an idea of axes of gemstones that change and shift and move. Taking that word and deriving it down, this stone is sometimes also known as a chlorite jade. Angular axes jade. Axes and movement of jade. When I think of jade, is it just me? Or do you think of a colour? Hmm. What I'm about to bring to you now is also known in its name as seraphinite. Seraphin referring to the highest order of angels. All of those is what's in the name and all of those are what is in this strand. The axes and movement that gives you that chatoyancy from that Greek name and that Greek word. The name of that derived into the new jade term that gives you that colour. And that name of seraphinite derived from the word seraphin referred to and known as one of the highest orders of angels due to that angel-like wing motion caused by the axes. That's what's in a name and that's what's in this stone. Don't get me wrong, I like the idea that the likes of Tanzanite comes from its location, Tanzanite, Tanzanian gemstone. I like the idea that certain stones are named after the person who found them but this is a stone found and created by an artist found and created at someone who looked into the beauty of this and saw the axes saw the color saw the wing like beauty and that is exactly what you have here now, I'm going to have to show you this against black because you need to understand the seraphim beauty of this, the angel wings on this. And I need to show you this against black because we here in the studio, we can see it perfectly, yeah, can't we? Yeah, you can. The chatoyancy, yeah. which is why it was named seraphinite. One of the reasons, because you're getting that angel-like wing. Just look and indulge. What do angels mean to you? What do you think of? <laughs> When you think of angels, maybe there's someone in your life who's helping you out and you just think they're a bit of an angel. Maybe there's someone that you think of and you think of your guardian angel. We have got for you here that all encompassment, the feather-like beauty, that serene-like wonder, that magic and majesty of the phenomenon dancing underneath the surface, almost like angels here pirouetting. And we're bringing to you that beauty and that wonder, those jade-like colors in moments 
difference. We have got for you a hypnotic, unique and individual stone, very rarely seen and we are offering it to you today as a start by deal. Already a lot of you feeling the beauty, sensing the quality and the sheen of those angel light wings. <laughs> For what you are getting here, the beauty, the uniqueness and the artistry of what is naturally locked within this stone. And remember, this is Siberian Seraphonite, okay? This is literally from one place in Siberia, and if you think about the size of Siberia, this is from one small little pocket in Siberia. You are getting yourself something that is elite, unusual, rare, scarce, but I believe for us as creatives, incredibly inspiring. Yeah, really inspiring. And and again, it could go with so many other gemstones. Agreed. But it actually doesn't really need it because it's such a wow gemstone. Gems on its own. I agree. You could have one of those on a silver chain and it would be something that people would be drawn into. Totally. It sings by itself, doesn't it? It gives you the beauty and the quality. This is one of those stones that I believe looks good on screen, but it is in intoxicating in real life. So if you want to get it home, free phone numbers at the bottom of your screen, now is your time to react. We're never able to buy hundreds and hundreds of Siberian Seraphonite, as I say, because it's this tiny pocket in the planet. Um, you can get Seraphonite from other areas, but Siberian uh, Seraphonite is often seen as one of the top qualities because you get more chitoyancy in it as a general rule. Um, and that's exactly what we've got here. If you do want to seize the moment, do so now. We were, had limited portions anyway of this, and at that deal at that price point and it is a start by price that will bump up in price come eight o'clock so do seize the moment and enjoy adding that to your collection 30 day money back guarantee no questions no quibbles but trust in that because you need to see it in real life you are going to fall in love with that well done let me move on now that's it going to go great with that jade i've got coming up in a bit golden obsidian for you now in huge rounds when you look at this what springs to mind for you first Hayley well not the obvious for me because I was never one who watched the program <laughs> yeah but for me it's it's like traveling in space Ooh. It's got that kind of distant quality. It feels like I'm um, kind of venturing into another world, another planet. But I can see how it relates to to another sort of, you know, dimension. I mean, I know what you're all thinking, the GOMs, the Game of Thrones, JOTs rather. Um, and... <laughs> And I can see how it has that quality. There's something magical about it. There's something kind of regal about it. There's something dark and gloomy about it, but in a, in a curious way. So that's why Such a perfect word. Yeah. Curious. Yeah. So that's why I think it reminds me of traveling to other worlds because yeah. um, it's got that curiosity about it. And it does draw you in. It's got that it's tiger's eye type quality, but mm -hmm. actually a bit more sophisticated. Oh, that's a great way of putting it, a little bit more sophisticated, and I would hasten to agree with you in many instances for that, especially for those of you who maybe, maybe it, it takes eyes a little bit to look at me. Yeah. You want something slightly more subdued, slightly yeah. more relaxed, that can come across maybe as more elegant. You're in the right place absolutely, here. Absolutely, absolutely. Bringing to you today, you have got 330 carats worth of that golden obsidian. Should be 12.95, but right now, Deep Super Saver! <laughs> Mil rounds for the big, the bold, the beautiful. Going from 12 mil at 12.95 to 12 mil at 7.95. I mean, does it make sense? Nope. But it does right here, right now, because we fancy doing it and therefore we are going to. Um, I have got absolutely loads and loads and loads of treats and treasures uh, coming up for you. So much more to come. I'm thinking of these. I've got a five o'clock mega deal bundle tomorrow. Tune in, five o'clock. Um, but um, there's like some findings that you could literally just pop these on and you sort it. Dead easy to do that, isn't it? Yes. Um, also, quite like the idea of these, you know, with the <laughs> likes of, um, you know, many of your precious metals. Um, just one of these, very simply, on like a, 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 yeah. a band, yeah. you know, 
like maybe with a slider or even just one on like a nice leather cord possibly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking actually um, because particularly when it catches the light and you get that little surprise, if you have it on a black cord, you, that would be even more of a surprise because mm. it would look like a black bracelet mm. and then you have that little lovely glow, that golden undercurrent that's going on there. Mm. It's divine, isn't it? Well yeah. done all, 795. I've got to move on because we've got so much more to do. Let me bring to you something that is just Mother Nature in her infinite wisdom. Let me think, let me, uh, let me, let's us all think about how difficult it is for Australian opal to be formed. As we know, it takes a very long time. There are certain parts of the world whereby literally to get like an inch by inch piece of opal, we can be, we can be waiting nearly a century because of the slow process that opal takes to form. And um, in some parts of the world, it's almost like Mother Nature just can't wait to get her incredible opal out there. So what she'll do is she'll actually, where opal is forming, she will actually send in other materials, other um, sort of elements with a nice sort of whoosh of, of ground water and silica, etc. And what she'll do is where there's these tiny little lines these hairline fractures of opal forming she'll go no no i've got to get the creativity out there and then in the void she'll give us chalcedony and what happens when that happens is we're able to excavate this out of the ground and actually use it in jewelry obviously hairline fractures of opal aren't much use to anyone but also what we get is we get mother nature's creativity we get mother nature's paintings in gemstones and we get them in two of the most instagrammable <laughs> colors blue and gray are absolutely big hitters in the sort of en vogue yeah as i say instagrammable palette yeah. gray and blue gray and pink they are massive, aren't they? They really are, actually. They genuinely they, are huge. They, um, they, they're sophisticated. They're like boutique shops and they're like interior design colours and yeah. 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 palette cleansing colours. Totally. Mm. That's a really nice way of putting mm. it. I like that. We have got for you here those intrinsic, beautiful bands with the chalcedony running through them, giving you that glow, giving you that beauty. Your price point on these should be has been we've enjoyed it at this price 12.95 we have enjoyed it we've bought it we have seized the moment on it but right now ask yourself how many do you want because moo are you 85 is your code you need to remember that and you need to remember how many you want because right now it's a super super saver Twelve ninety five should be priced right here, right now. I'm going under a tenner. No, do you know what? I'll go under seven pounds. In fact, I'm lying. I'm going to go under six pounds. We're going to do it. Can we? Should we? Would we? Yeah, go ahead. Let's do it. We're going further down. Six pounds. No thanks. We're going lower. We're bringing it to you right here, right now. Do you know what? Look, you've got one or two in your basket. One so far in your basket. You, uh, Tom's guessing you're about to treble it. Four pounds <laughs> ninety five for you today. If you were thinking to yourself, right? Well, I fancy two I would get yourself four and the reason I'll tell you that is because if you were planning on getting two then it should be it should have been costing you approximately 25 pounds I want to say to buy yourself two actually uh, it should be 25.90 actually if you want to spend 25.90 yeah. on these now you could quite easily do that but you're going to be able to buy five of them so actually you're spending the same amount of money but instead of buying two you can actually buy five now so if you're only planning on getting to I'll add at least four because then you're still saving money and you're getting literally double the amount you're expecting. Five times the amount. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Four pounds ninety-five for you today. Loads of you in. If you do yeah, fancy well. grabbing it. Well, you would be a fool Don't not look. to. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do with it as a as a creative, please? Uh, to be honest, they've actually got a lovely uh, clink about them. Mm. So I think something like a wind chime or something that would sit in the window that would catch the wind, nice. that would be slightly 
sophisticated again. Mm. Uh, but even just one on an eye pin with another loop on the side, silver chain, stunning. And, mm. and you know, if you've got a boutique or a shop or a gallery down anywhere near water, this is the kind oh, of thing that would fly out. I because love that. It's very reminiscent of the seaside or of lakesides or that kind of thing. Even on a moody, stormy day, it's really evocative of that. Mm. And actually, um, I think that would just fly out those kinds of little boutiques and galleries. If you've ever done like glass fusion and things yeah. like that, literally, this is sometimes the type of effect we try and recreate, yeah. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It is truly truly a steal of a deal and um, loads of you in on this one loads of you treating yourself to this one let me remind you if you're looking at this and you're thinking Hayley I love your idea wait until you see more ideas from Hayley <laughs> if you head on over to um, Rebecca Redican presenter on Facebook or Instagram you will be able to see a picture of this on Facebook a video of the next sorry uh, another one of um, it on um, a video of it on there and Hayley's tagged in those ones as well so go and have a little nosy on there because I've got to say in particularly um, Hayley your Instagram you have a lot of precious metal pieces yes. on there that you've worked with a lot of people and I can if you're someone who's interested in maybe Aspiring how to exactly to how to with more precious metals go further yeah. in your exploration then definitely head over and have a little <laughs> nosy at that well done loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of you why did I just go in to the Apprentice then. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. How strange. But there is there's absolutely loads of you in and on this. Can I just let you know whilst you're there as well, I've got so many more tools coming up. Um, speaking of the telly, if you've been watching a uh, great pottery throwdown. Oh, yeah. I've got <laughs> someone coming up from yeah. that. No, literally. Yeah. The great British pottery throwdown, yeah? Yeah. Have you never heard of it before? Oh, oh it's I good. Love it. Yeah. I think, we're, is it fourth season we're on now? I'm not sure what season it is, but I think it's, it's about four. Yeah, we're on, it's on about the sixth episode of that. Yeah. It's definitely about the third or fourth season, yeah. Don't worry, no plot spoilers. But I've got some from that show in Yeah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Before that, though, I've got other stuff. Um, can I just let you know if Opal, by the way, such as that Opal, was your idea of a great oh, time? Look at that strand. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's amazing. I know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to go. Steve, super safer <laughs> on its way. <laughs> on this. Oh yeah, good you not. <gasps> Actually, let's bring to you now some strawberry quotes. Why, Tom? Why do you love it? Reminds me of Wimbledon. Oh, oh. spring and summer. Something like that, because look, they're coins. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. This shape. I am quite clumsy. Um, I am, I like to refer to it especially on a wear. I'm quite, <laughs> I'm quite clumsy. Um, if there is a door handle to get your bracelet caught on, if there is a hook on the back of your jacket to get your necklace caught on, <laughs> if there is a ring to get caught on a jumper, I'm going to be doing them all. Um, the fact of the matter is, therefore, especially with the likes of bracelets and to a certain extent ring, I have to be very, very careful what kind of design I'm wearing. With this though, because of the shape of these, because they are round if you look at them from this angle, but visualize them at the other angle, um, the profile of these, and you see they're flatter. That right now is not only super great for all of us who were, uh, you know, accidental catchers, but also look how comfortable. Can you imagine wearing that? That is pretty. Do you think wearing that is going to be comfortable? Or does it look like my wrist is all at a funny angle and it's a bit... Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's comfortable, and it really is. And what I love about comfortable jewellery is you're going to be more likely to wear it, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. In fact, this could be the type of piece that you don't even take off. Really, it could. Yeah. Literally, it could. This could be the type of piece that you just keep on and you shower and you go to the gym with it on and all the rest of it. I really love the fact that it's got those darker hues in there as well because it's t if you're not into soft, pretty pinks, this is a little bit 
egg chair, isn't Agreed. it? Agreed. Yeah. Absolutely. Hence the name, the sort of strawberry. When it talks about yeah. the strawberry, we're not technically talking about the colour. What we're actually talking about is the um, the, flex. the little seeds, yeah. almost, if you will. You're right. And that code is a bit like my name. Mm. Oh, Throw yes. an E in there and we're ready, aren't we? Yeah. I had well to double spotted. check that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> 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 it sounds like a chicken. Okay! <laughs> anyway, eight <laughs> <laughs> 95 <laughs> for you today if you want to grab it now is your chance to do so it is 25 full carrots worth all created beautifully in these coins for you so that they're comfortable they're wearable and let's face it they're going to be stackable yeah yeah you'll get a lot out of that because it's quite a long strand and you've got a lot on that strand so Oh, pretty. Yeah, loads of things. Absolutely loads of things I've got my eyes on. Uh, at 30? <laughs> or am I playing up? Oh, let's do it. Okay, I've got just shy of five. I'm bringing you to turquoise and I'm bringing it to you in USA cushion cut. I had to bring you these because I've never seen us do this group before. This is, I've seen turquoise from this location before, but never ever quite like this. Just check those out. Amazing. These with salt designs, these almost set over. How incredible would yeah. that look? Okay. Oh, sorry. People are already checking out. Literally should be, should be. Sorry, I didn't realize we were doing a discount on these. No, <gasps> I'm taking off two thirds. Wow. I'm taking off two thirds. This is, thank you, Hales. This is £100 back in your pocket, £49.95. And that is a guarantee of three. 20 carrots worth in total. I'm over allocated. These are over allocated. Over allocated. I've literally got two left. Two left for us now. That is luxury of a next level. One left, literally. Well done, everybody. I know you've got it. I've got Warwickshire and Tyne and you. Ooh, we're Tyne and you. Tyne and we're <laughs> wanting these ones. And there's someone coming through on the phone. It's literally one left over at that point. I've also got Greater London who wants it. Fastest finger first. Good luck, every single one of you. Next up, let's juxtapose it. Uh, let's go loop. Let's show it. Let's keep it cab. Let's go six. Uh, box six, Tom. Let me bring to you pre night now. <gasps> I knew that you were going to love this. Um, we yeah. are bringing to you, just look, the luminosity and beauty and individuality of pre-night. This has got this aura-like glow to it. And I love that I'm bringing to you in, in this sample here that a veracity of colour that we know that is so fresh, so optimistic and so spring-like. And that is partly due to its location of Namibia. Once, once with more texture, well, don't you worry. I've got them yeah, in this collection. Yeah. We have got personality. We have got beauty. Again, I am low stock on this one, I'm afraid to say. But if you do fancy getting 138 carats, let me remind you, I've got oh, Sutash on tomorrow. Sutash tomorrow. I have got uh, Sutash with the lovely Sheila tomorrow on the mid. I have got no capuchons in pre-night on that. I've already looked. So if you love the idea of Sutash or Shabori with this, it's going to be incredible. Even that wire work before. Yeah. Bring indeed. <gasps> okay. No. Okay, we're going lower. Sorry, I thought we were stopping there. Sorry, I was thinking. Great. Five. Nine pounds ninety-five for you today. Sorry, I'm just I'm, that's that's baffled me a little bit. So what we're saying is these are approximately two pound fifty each, and let me just show you that one oh, and say it. two pound fifty for that one. This is natural Namibian pre-night. That is an astonishing opportunity. Yeah, and there's a lot of carrot weight just in that. Just in that one, and you're seeing these in real life. These are speaking to you, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they actually a little bit duller on the screen. Green. Agreed. They're much more vibrant in reality. Yeah. Yeah. They've got glow about they them, do, haven't they? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm very, again, lots of you checking in and out on these ones. We do not have a huge amount of them. That is a steal of a deal right now. If you do want to grab it, please do be quick. And don't forget, if you love those colours, I've got Jade Eye on its way for you. Do you know what? Should we go a little bit um, avant-garde in shape? Should we do eight? Oh. 
for those people that you love to the moon and back and also for those who absolutely love and adore animal print but find they're quite tricky to wear maybe because any of you who love monochrome this is the stone for you to get your hands on because of that incredible color don't you think this is chic very chic and what i love about gemstones when you have an unusual cut and by the way sorry to interrupt but by the way this was um created just for us oh, we bought really? the raw material Ooh. gave it to our team in jaipur so and said we do top drills unique. yes exactly so you could have it hung like it's hanging there you mm -hmm. could have you could actually pretend it's a cabochon and you could set it and make your own bezel or st uh, stitch around it or shibori with it yeah. so it's really a very very versatile type of gemstone and you're so right i love the fact that you could use that you know you could actually i'm just thinking what you could do is if you imagine a little bit of wire coming out here and attaching that to a chain yeah. and because of this point here you know adding a little star maybe yeah, or something that would be gorgeous it. yeah and each one has a different personality, which yeah. I love. You know, you could, uh, you know, the slightly smaller ones with the graduation, slightly larger ones. So you could literally do a piece for mum, dad, son, daughter with this strand, couldn't yeah. you? Genuinely, and maybe one for grandma or whoever it might be. Already people in on this. This is uniquely created for us. For anyone that you maybe love to the moon and back, maybe anyone who uh, wants to work this with your gallery wire yes. even. Yes, look amazing with gallery wire. That would really frame yeah. it, wouldn't it? We're going lower, I can't believe. <laughs> Considering that this is individually created for you as a jewellery maker viewer, that point point is something which actually, I'm not surprised there's so many of you treating yourself to these. It's entirely natural and it's not a stone that we see that often. If you want easy wear jewellery, this is the kind of stone that you will go for, which is why a lot of the time, you will we will treat stones yes to have these kind of colors you know we might uh treat agates to look like this we might treat um oh um, um, um onyxes to look like this because these are wearable pairings everybody loves monochrome don't Abs they well it goes with everything doesn't mm. it you can wear a t-shirt and jeans and you can wear monochrome you can wear a cocktail dress and you can wear monochrome mm. so perfect so it's a good one for your stash yeah Speaking of one for your stash, well done everyone on that, do keep coming through on it. Speaking of one for your stash, oh what's the wrong box? Mm. The colours on this strand are incredible. Sometimes an opal tells you exactly what you should be looking for. Can you think of anyone in your family who might feel extremely lucky to own a piece of jewellery with this? If so, it's coming up very soon. As is, more soldering demos from the wonderful <laughs> Hayley Kruger. Don't go anywhere, we've got more. <laughs> Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website.
Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewellery Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. You can now book Jewellery Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewellery Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. To jewelry maker it is wonderful to be with you this evening oh Tom you're bringing me some presents oh nice presents too uh, yay if I had an hammer thank you <laughs> I love this it's not just any old apron is it nope no. we're gonna be explaining yeah. it more in a while and um, I have got for you in this hour so much to come um, and one of the main things we've got coming up is exciting demonstrations from the wonderful Hayley who is going to teach you how you can turn a kit like this into jewellery that quite frankly could be sold in any boutique store for Pretty high money making figures. Hi, Hayley. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us this <laughs> My evening. My absolute pleasure. Um, tell us a little bit about what you loved about this kit. Well, this uh, I've had variations on this course, kit. Yeah. So, and I got some of the other gems coming that are coming up in out, a bit. Yeah. They're all similar in that they've got you've got a sterling silver chain in there. What's lovely about sterling silver chain well, like this? Well, who doesn't need spare sterling silver chains? Oh, we go through them like no one's yeah. business. And to be honest, I could always do with more, yeah. especially as a jewellery maker. Of course. Or I need to make up a necklace quickly for myself or a friend, and then I need a spare one. But what you get with this kit, you've got your chain, you've got bezel cups, and you've got cabochons. So you've got three in each, and you've also got 
a whole reel of one mil wire. So you can make your own earring findings, your own jump rings, your own clasps if you needed to, your own embellishments. So you can actually add decorative elements. Um, and you've got so much possibility in these sets. We have got so much that we're going to teach you in this hour. You may well look at these bezel cups and go, great, we're just going to glue them in. Uh-uh. <laughs> we have got some special elements coming up, but you're going to need the kits to be able to recreate them. So, good luck all. My figure on this is incredibly low. I hate to say this, but I'm going to have to. Of this kit, I've got less than 30. Oh, we gosh. are bringing to you today your soldering with citrine. You can see one of the reasons that we may well only have a few of them. One is because uh, this is a variation on, on ones that um, Haley's had in the past, but also because just look at the caliber of that citrine and consider the amount of solid sterling silver you've got in here. We have got limited stock. Am I right to say? Oh my days. Okay, I've got less <laughs> than 20 now. I'm just gonna give you that price, give you that Deal. This is low stock opportunity for you. Less than 20 now. Less than 15 now. Sorry. Just had someone else come in on it. Bringing it to you at £24.95. pence. We are going to teach you so many techniques. We've called this soldering with citrine, but actually we're also going to talk about techniques that have nothing to do with soldering within this kit too. So stick with us, bear with us. This is creativity. I've got less than 10, less than 10 now available. I've got to move on to the rose quartz version, okay? So rose quartz now for everybody who's involved. You know what? I'm going to be a bit of a cheat and just swap the guys out. <laughs> Bit of a cheat. Here we go. Good Let's idea. bring you your rose quartz now. This is limited again. And have a little look at how much <gasps> these glow. Yeah, the, the rose quartz in these little kits are amazing. Totally. And like you said, the glow. And you can see it there, and often you can't Especially see it. Especially once you back it. Yeah, the silver look reflects that. right in. Oh, it's a divine. Do you know what it looks like? It's like a lunar cap. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you've yeah. ever seen our lunar cabs, and I will let you know, speaking of cabs, I have got some uh, new glittery cab cabs coming up tomorrow mid. But for those of you who love a lunar cap, they are man made. This is a natural, almost twinsy within rose quartz yeah. because of the quartz quality and because of the silver quality. Give me my stock on this at the moment, Tom. $24.95. It's sold out. It's well, sold out. It's sold go. out. These are low stock. I'm about to bring you a precious gemstone now, okay? Uh, and I think I'm right in saying this is my last round. So if you love the round shape, I would strongly suggest you're quick in on this. Emerald. Ooh. I'm about to bring to you now. And this is really something which I just think is going to make you smile. Beautiful depth in this just enjoy that for a moment yeah, yeah. wow Divine. that is a real intensity <clears throat> excuse me that is a real intensity and a real beauty of a stone that we're offering to you here it's quite a substantial emerald there as well isn't it definitely three of them and i think the fact that all three you know if you imagine that as you see them that framing that you get with this really does go to show off just how um bold they are we're not yeah. distracting them from the emerald which is what i love about these you're getting the 15 carats of emerald you're getting one mil in the one meter of sterling silver wire and the 12 mil rounds i've sold out of all the others thus far this is heading the same way <clears throat> excuse me 34 pounds <laughs> and 95 pence for you i've got collectors in on this straight away just whilst i go we have got for you. <laughs> but, Excuse what's me, fantastic, I think you actually mentioned it briefly there, is that these kinds of bezel cups, they actually let the gemstone do the talking. Totally. Um, and it's also quite a lovely introduction to stone setting mm -hmm. for if you're a complete beginner. Yeah. So you can, you've got a pre-made bezel cup, a cabochon that's made to fit that cup, and then so later bad. on I'll be talking you, you through the setting technique. So what a brilliant way to just get your fingers, just to get started. Get on. started and yeah. get into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I've now got no more rounds. They're sold out. I am going to bring to you, I just want to double check if it's the same chain or are we slightly different now? Same chain on this curved chain which is obviously great because it means you've got real um sort of uh, movement let's yeah, say slinkiness slinkiness now i'm going to bring to you the ovals now there's more 
look in metal to these because they're an elongated stone and I think that gives quite an elegance. There's something about an elongation that I think feels yeah. quite... Um, it also, if you, it, it, it gives elegance, it elongates the neckline as well. Mm. So if you're wearing it on as a pendant, mm. going down the decolletage, it actually gives you a longer neckline, which is obviously desirable. Totally. Yeah. And just look. Uh, that sunlight, yeah. isn't that incredible? Doesn't it feel almost like a sort of sunrise in the morning? We are bringing to you, I will let you know, slightly better quantity of these. I had, but I don't anymore. Thanks. I've got three left oh, now. Wow. $29.95 for them. The techniques we're going to teach you are vast on this. And we will, as I've said, you know, sort of explore these more in depth. I am going to bring you one that I know full well is going to be popular. Um, and this is, I think, your penultimate um, one. Penultimate one. If I just say Labradorite, do you fancy picking up the phone? Did you go on Instagram before? Um, I did a very brief five second video of these on my story in the pieces that Haley had made because a photo just didn't do it justice. These need to be worn <laughs> for sure. Just look, look at, at, at Lowe's. These are what Haley's made her jewelry up with. Um, you, we know full well that already you are are ringing through on this. You ready? Just look at these designs. Did these just speak to you, Hales? Well, who doesn't love a Labradorite? And it kind of is mystical, isn't it? So it kind totally. of was driven in that direction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, $29.95 for you today on these ones. You have got a uh, limited stock already now on these ones. Just as a reminder, it comes with the three bezel cups, which we'll talk about more shortly. The three Labradorites, the chain, and that one mil, one meter of solid sterling silver wire. We are going to be showing you how you can turn these into things like these that I'm wearing and the pieces that we're going to be looking at as well. So they are very, very, very much on their way for you. Final, final one now. This one's first time. So if you're a February baby like me, you're about to smile. Particularly if you're a bit pernickety. <laughs> we have got for you... I have got for you an incredible... Amethyst now. Now remember, if you are born in February, this is your birthstone. If you're born at the back end of January, this is your um, horoscope stone, basically. Let me show you. So if you're born end of January, all of February, this is definitely something that can speak to you. I adore the luxury of this stone. Have you seen how you've got that secondary hue of the lavender, per almost pink, sorry, yeah. in the background yeah. of this? They're really stunning colour, these. Sorry. They really are, aren't They're they? They're kind of between um, a dark Zambian and a light amethyst, aren't they? Yeah. Almost like a rose de France. Yes. Okay, I'm bringing to you the three bezel cups. I have got now 30 available only. Sorry, 30 available now. Sorry. £37.10. It should be. This is the last set. Am I right to say we sold out of the rest? Yeah. This is your last chance. I mean... At twenty three ninety five, we had good quantity, but if I just, if I just, if I just turn these on so that I can give you a gram weight, just an idea, because the gram weight will be approximately the same across the board, but just as an idea, layer all these up, well, that's with the chain, I'm keeping the gemstones out of it, but there in total, I've got around about... 11.10 so let's round it down to 11 grams worth of precious metal 11 grams even just ignoring the fact that these are beautiful you know bezel cups that you can create beautiful jewelry with without using glue the fact that you've got that wonderful you know Finished sort chain. of a really high quality Italian style design chain and that you've got all of that workability the fact that this is over 11 grams yeah you should be paying more than that for sure. Yeah. And that's ignoring all the gemstones. That's why they've been so popular. 
and that's why we've had so many of you in on this. I will just let you know before we dive on into a demonstration that if you want your soldering, if you want your solder, if you want your flux, if you want your pickling, we've had it all on the show tonight. Have a little look back. If we use any of it, we will bring it up. Um, we have also got more coming up for you as well. Um, we have got um, things like the lubricant coming up. We've got your hammers coming up. We've got um, loads on its way. So keep your peepers peeled because everything you need, including the likes of the soldering block we have had on for you tonight. The, let's dive on into the demo, especially if you've got any questions for the lovely Hales. Okay, and with your lovely All lady. Right. So, so, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a ring from one of the, the bezel cups. So, I've got uh, my sample that I've got for the demo is uh, the one of the amethyst. Oh, my birthday! Yay! And uh, I've got a little bezel cup, but obviously we do not want a little loop on the. No, we don't need no, that. Do we, we don't need that. Okay. So we're going to chop that off. Um, and I'm using some flush cutters, and I'm cutting as close as I can one side of the loop, and then the other. So just holding it with my finger in the way so it doesn't ping off. And the reason for that is so that I keep that because I keep all my scrap silver and I keep that in a pot and then I'll either recycle it or trade it in or definitely have it reused in some way or another. Mm -hmm. You then have a little bit of a bumpy area where it was originally soldered on. Mm -hmm. So you can use your needle file. <laughs> We've got the needle files available for you. Um, we'll pop them in on screen in a second. Just this half a second though, just to let you know, we've got the large version of the steel block on your screen, no, the 10 by 10, sorry, uh, on screen for you at this moment in time. If you do want the sandbag block, we've got that coming up for you in a second as well. Coming on screen now then, the needle files. Why are these metal needle files in the stack of 12 that we've got them so useful? To be honest, I don't know of a day that goes by in jewellery making where I don't use them. Yeah. Because... If you're cutting mm -hmm. by, by tin snips or by a saw, you need to file after you've cut. Yeah. Uh, if you're trimming things down, you need to file after you've cut. If you're resizing things, you need to file them to clean up the edges. Yeah. So it, it's used in so many ways. And so many mediums. Yes. Only 6 95 and that's for 12. Yeah. So it's an essential part of jewellery, silver jewellery making and precious metal jewellery making. Yeah. So there we go. I mean, I could file that, spend a bit more time filing that, but I, I want to move on and talk about the other techniques that we're going to use. But if I had a bit more time, I would just spend a bit more doing that. Uh, okay, I'm going to clean that up a bit more what you can yeah, also nice do thing. is which i i'll have to rummage in my bag but i won't do it is just to get rid of if there's any scratch marks from the files because what happens is you use a file and you, then you get some file marks and then to get rid of the file marks you get some sandpaper or some buffing pads and, and we just, have got sandpaper the fine grain on its way for you that actually just, um, oh we'll put the product into green okie doke we didn't, we, it's not here in person. It hasn't arrived with the but delivery. you'll be able to see a picture of it on the okay. web. So why, the sandpaper gives it just more of a smooth well, it's, finish Yes, it's end. refining it. So polishing and finishing and cleaning up your, your jewellery is a multi-stage process. And some people, that's the bits that people don't realise take so long. Yeah. You think it's all about the soldering, and the, but it's the cleaning up and it's the finishing and the polishing. The professional the edge. Professional the professional edge. finish. And sandpaper helps you to achieve that. And you have different grades of sandpaper. The fine is on your screen, 600 um, grit. Oh, well, that's actually not the finest. I mean, it might be the finest no, in fine. that pack. Yeah. Um, you actually get, you can go up to 2,000. So the mm -hmm. higher the number, the finer it goes. Mm -hmm. So I'd start at 600 and then I'd go higher. Mm -hmm. With the 600, you actually get a lovely satin finish. You can nice. use that 600 and it gives you, um, yeah, a satin or a matte finish. Almost like a brush. Yeah. A bit. So you, brush that, a bit. that's useful in itself because mm. not everybody likes a high polish. Mm. But yeah, so you can work your way through grades of sandpaper to get a finish. Um, and then, uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to set up the system. So the reason why I've got the steel block here and the the, the bag, the is sand actually, bag, the sand we bag, have got. is actually because I need to get a little bit of height above my block. Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to align this up and solder it on upside down, like that. 
Okay. Right, okay. Yeah, so it's a little bit unexpected, but that's what we're going to do. But in order to put those two together and get a good solder joint, by the way, the ring is something I made earlier. Mm -hmm. So you saw that in the previous demo. We did that in the 7 o'clock demo, um, so YouTube it will go but back. But I'm going to put you on the spot, Becky. So do you remember what was one of the key important things of a good solder join? You needed them to join nicely and click yeah, together, exactly. essentially. So what might be useful here? Well, it's not flat, is yeah. it? It's not flat to flat. Exactly. So I'm going to file that area there. And I'm going Perfect. to solder the solder join to that area mm. there. So I'm actually going to file where I previously soldered. And with this needle file, are you using the flat side yes, of one? Because using... some of them are domed and things, exactly. aren't they? Exactly. Well, this one is domed on one, on one side, side and it's flat mm. on the other. Um, and so, yes, I am using the flat edge. You can use a big flat file if you wanted to. You can um, use some coarse sandpaper if you prefer. Okay. And just make sure you've got a little bit of a flat surface and you can see that happening there. Now, I was being a little bit naughty then. I was going backwards and forwards and traditionally with filing, you should only go forwards. So, a bit like when you file your nails. Yes, uh, because if you go backwards and forwards, you, you're kind of being a little bit counterproductive. So I will do the right thing and go forwards only. Okay. There we go. So you can see you're getting a bit of a glint on the top of mm -hmm. that. And that should give you a nice connection in that area there. If you're unsure, you can hold those two areas both up to the light and you should see the amount of connection that you have. Oh, okay, so you want them to be quite nice and flat. Yes, one absolutely. The more surface area that's connecting, the stronger the join will be. Okay. And then what I have is I've just built up um, the... I've got these reverse action tweezers, which we have had before, mm -hmm. but uh, you can use normal tweezers or you can use a pair of pliers that hold f fast mm -hmm. or something that's going to be useful to you. But um, some, a vice would work as well, but nothing that dominates. What I mean by that is nothing that's too heavy with the amount of metal or steel because... Um, be we have actually got a, a, a table vice on its way that um, may well help with holding, etc. Yes. Yeah, and as also cut in your, um, the metal sheet that we did before yes, as well. Yes, that would be useful. So when you're setting this up, make sure that there's not too much steel in the way. So what I mean by that is you don't want your tweezers or your vise to go right across the join area or the whole ring because okay. remember heat conduction is important Yes. and steel absorbs a lot of the heat that we need. Okay. So it's only pinching in one small Tiny area. Bit okay. And what I'm also looking for is that if I look from above, that that's aligned where I want it to be and if I look from the the side that it's straight mm -hmm. um, and also that it actually connects so just double check from all angles okay excuse okay. my head getting in no, the way no no don't worry on the side all right so that's touching so I've got a nice connection I've got it set up there's no steel that's absorbing the heat and then we're going to use the elements that we did have previously. Perfect. So we've got some flux. I'm going to use a different flux that some of you might have bought from the another kit that Is we had. Is the flux still available, Tom? We may well still have the flux available. So for anyone who's brand new, uh, just tuned in, okay. let's remind us what the flux was because we're launching it. Yeah. Tonight. So we had uh, we we had the yellow coloured. Um, yes. Flux, yeah, and flux comes in many forms. You can, you might have this gel flux from previous kits that we've had. Yeah, yeah. You might have the yellow one that we had this evening, or you might have something called borax. And you have to have flux, no matter what kind it is, to uh, tell the solder where you want it to flow. If you don't have flux, it won't flow. Okay. That's just the simple, that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. So it prevents the area from melting and it prevents, it helps the solder to flow. Mm -hmm. So if you have um, dislodged or moved your piece as you're adding any other elements, just double check that you've got it how you want it to be. Okay. Um, so flux is in position. Okay. And then we've got some solder. So to refresh on what solder is, solder is sterling silver sheet, but it's got the addition of other um, in metals in there as well. Most importantly, zinc. And the zinc is the the metal that flows until it allows it to flow. Mm -hmm. Silver on its own doesn't flow particularly well. It just melts up into a ball. Mm. So we've cut up tiny little pieces of solder by cutting strips from the panel. We brought you these strips, these 
pieces before yeah, tiles. Yeah, they, they came in three little, uh, yeah, a pack three of parts. three different strengths, easy, medium and hard. And you cut it into tiny little pallions. So about two, two mil by two mil or one mil by one mil, depending on the mm. size of the project. And you only really need a very small amount. So I've got some pre-cut on my solder block there. And previously when I um, added in the solder, I actually use some tweezers but if you find tweezers a bit difficult to manage you might find that you can pick it up with a brush oh, cool. so it's just different methods of doing it and then you brush it into position but whatever method you use you make sure that your solder now I'm going to use two pieces of solder they're quite uh, big <clears throat> you they must touch both sides that are being soldered together so it's touching the cup but it's also nudged up against the band as well and the bands now completely solid isn't it so you don't have to worry about yes getting the joints of the band together and the back no, bit exactly now i am using hard solder for both joints here but if you're nervous you could use easy solder at the stage which is the solder panel with the lower number okay. in the kit okay okay is that an apron i spy Tom? <laughs> yes <laughs> on its way <laughs> uh, we're about to do the torching now. We had this torch on earlier on. Safety goggles at the ready, yeah, don't so. forget. We are going to slightly dim the light so that you can see this in action. Okay, so remember the last thing that's super important is heat conduction. So when you've got two pieces there that have got different sizes or amounts of silver, you focus on the piece that's got the most amount of silver in it. Okay because they need to heat at the same time so the more silver will take longer, longer. to heat so yeah. would you start with the cup then i would start with the cup okay. i might even because the steel absorbs some of the heat i'll put some heat on that ah. first then go down to the cup okay, interesting the other thing that might happen yeah. is the solder that i've placed sometimes blows away from the force of this flame ah, okay. so i will spend a bit of time gently bringing some heat towards it until the the little solder pieces um I know that they're not going to blow away and then I can go in fully. Okay. So, to start up the torch, we have a little safety catch at the bottom of the ignition button. This torch is on So then you pull that down, you put in the, push in your ignition button and then you push the whole button down to hold the flame in place. Lovely. Okay, now with the bright blue part of the flame, not the, the bit further away, I go in onto the steel tweezers to heat those up a bit. And then I'm going to gently come around. Now you can see the borax, um, not the borax, the flux slightly bubbling. And it's simply the moisture in that that's being removed. Mm -hmm. And when you know that that moisture's gone, then you start to bring in your, your heat and you conduct the heat around everything. Okay, so focusing on the cup and then going around the ring. And watch, there we go. There you go, do you see that going Take down? your heat away and as soon as it's flowed, Switch off your torch for safety. Okay, and then don't touch it with your fingers because no. it is pretty hot. There we have. Now, it's discolored and that's just the flux that's done that, but it is a solid whole piece. Okay? Isn't that amazing? Right. Now, what we would normally do is we would put that in the pickle and leave it there for about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or thereabouts. The but pickle is still available. So the pickle solution, and what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to quench that in some water. Okay, so, so that, it's that basically means we're cooling it, doesn't it? We're cooling it? it down so it's safe for me to touch. Um, and that's an absolutely, uh, it's a method that people use all the time. So um, the reason why I want to touch it now is because I'm going to focus on cleaning it up. Fab. Um, not cleaning up, sorry, stone, the stone setting technique. Yes. So... I just wanted to dry that. Off. Whilst you're drying that, yes. Let me just um, explain to you a couple of things. I have still got the rawhide hammer on its way. You are absolutely right. You spotted it. I have got the <laughs> leather apron on its way, um, which is fantastic for this type of medium and so much more. You may have even seen it on uh, on what is it? Is it ITV? BBC got no brakes as it must be BBC uh, recently um, as well as that I've got for you um, the opal not too far off what we're about to show you now is in these designs how it almost looks like we've just glued these in but actually we haven't and that is um, 
I'm with you, sorry. That's all right. Well, you can use glue. Of course you can. Right. You can use glue because sometimes stones are uh, made slightly irregularly. Um, they cut, they hand cut. So if you want to, you can put some glue in. But it's not about the glue. You could actually set these without glue with various tools. So when it comes to cabochon setting, there are two tools that are really important. We're bringing you the pusher. Square pusher really really useful okay and the reason why that is useful is because we're going to push the, the wall over the stone or secure the stone in place and that flush flat polished edge will allow us to do that and we also use something called a burnisher which is a highly polished tool which will then just buff things up so what to to get your stone into position you can actually use a piece of wax or a piece of blue tack which I did have a bit of blue tack around, but if you... It's behind the flux. Thank you. No problem. It's hiding. <laughs> now, what wax is really best, because blue tack is pretty, it is tacky as it suggests, mm. but the reason why that's useful is it lowers the gem into position. Sometimes the cup is a little bit snug for the gem. Mm -hmm. So if you test it out by just hovering the stone above, and if it doesn't go in straight away and easily, you can actually use something. It can be the burnisher, it can be the back end of a needle file, or we any tool that will allow you to push the bezel wall out a fraction. So you, you're just opening it up. But in this case, and I know because I've tested it previously, this is a really lovely fit in there. So you mm -hmm. lower it in, it's not going in skew and it's not getting jammed. And there the stone is sitting very nicely within lovely. that cup. And then we get the square pusher into play. Okay. So hold, you can use the, uh, the ring clamp. Um, so it's a ring vise, which mm -hmm. we do get in the gem setting kit. But because this particular design is a really slim little band, you might find it will bend out of shape. So in this case, just use your finger, your forefinger and your thumb to help you hold things in position. Now, the rule with stone setting is you work in opposites. So north, south, east and west. Mm. And the reason for that is when we secure the stone, we secure it north and then south and that's pinched. If I started to work all the way around, I might push it up out the other side mm. and then it's skew and then it's all a little bit irregular. Mm. So, rest your hand down on your work table or your bench peg and push and roll. And you might should see a little bit of an indent. Push and roll. So I don't know if you can see my finger might be in the way, but pushing and rocking. So it's a rocking motion. Now don't worry, it will pop out because it's not secured in just yet. And this is where if you wanted to, you could get a bit of glue into that. Squish or push and rock. There you go. You can see that really well there. And then bring it around to the other side. And what you will find is as you're starting to do it, it starts to push out where you haven't used the square pusher you start to get a little bit of pushing out there so you then go in north northeast south southeast and all of that so opposites in that way around there we go there and you can see it's starting to now do what you want it to do yeah and it will start to almost look untidy. I'll show you what I mean by that. And do you need to worry at that point? No, because you've still got a lot of work to do yet. Right, yeah. <laughs> so what's happening is as you're pushing in one area, it kind of pushes out elsewhere. So you've got to work then with that and keep on going around it. Where it starts to jut out, you just follow that. So there it starts to jut out there. Then I go there with my square pusher and I'll go in opposites. There you go, it's starting to jut out there. And then keep on working, there you go. Lots of jutting out going on there. And eventually, actually what I'm going to do, which will be quite useful, because the ring is actually annealed. We do have the ring mandrel available. Yeah, that, that metal underneath there will provide a nice amount of resistance. And I'll move that out the way as well. There you go. Okay, that's definitely better, much more manageable. Well, you can see that's got a bit more grippability about yeah. it now. 
And do you remember we were talking earlier on about the solder and we were saying that we had the um, magnifiers on tonight and stuff, didn't we? And we were saying that some things to do with soldering, you know, you have to be really, really up close and personal yeah, with to be able to see it. Yeah, you've got to be pretty precise. With this, there's, it almost feels like there's a bit more leeway with this specific technique here. Yeah, there is. Now, what I've started to do, so before I was rocking up and over, mm -hmm. I'm now taking the square pusher and I'm rocking from side to side. Okay. Okay. And that, where you've got any more protruding bits, that will start to get those down. What you can do, which I didn't mention in the demo before, but if you want a slightly more, uh, if because the, the ring was starting to bend a bit out of shape because it was an, fully annealed, i.e. heated up from soldering, you can actually hammer it, get a hammer texture on there, and that will harden it as well with a metal hammer. But <laughs> that, that hard hammer is very useful as well, and I'll talk about why that's useful in a moment. I think we actually have got a normal hammer on, didn't I have see we? that in Ooh. the thing? Or have oh I made that up? Keep going. It's all right. It has popped out, but we just keep on going. You keep on pushing mm -hmm. it, rocking it what, from side to side. Whilst you keep on doing that, yeah. would you want me to bring something else to wear? Yeah. Yeah, let's do Else it. About, oh, since we've been hinting about it. I mean, we've been subtle. We <laughs> and the customers have spied it, so. This is, I'm going to say it, making safety sexy. <laughs> okay, there, I've said it. <laughs> I've said it. Yes. Do you watch Great British Pottery Throwdown? Yeah. I love it. If you've never seen it before, let me give you a brief overview. Imagine Bake Off, but no cakes, pottery. It's been going a fair few seasons now. It used it to be has. Sarah Cox, now it's... Mel Sykes. Sykes, well done. Another lovely and lass. Yeah, she's um, gorgeous. And it is genuinely, for us creatives, it's a brilliant show. It is, however, the type of show that, just like Bake Off, makes you want to eat cakes. You just want to go and buy a kiln and start yeah. eating stuff. Uh, but... You will have seen recently, no pop spoilers on who's left or anything else, so don't worry about that. Um, you will have seen recently that they were doing Raku, which is essentially, uh, Raku, not Raku. <laughs> uh, ra they might have had Raku. Uh, who knows? Uh, it's essentially about adding colour and textures to pottery. And you will have seen them all in, and we are 99.9% .9 positive. It is yeah. literally yeah. this one. Yeah. Not just a leather welding apron, but literally this one, because at the back of the way it crosses over, etc., etc. Now, the really important thing to remember about this is that it is a leather apron for safety against high heat, which is why it's used with the likes of Raku as it was. Um, for you, what is it about an apron like this that is uh, useful when you're using torches, whether it's for soldering or it's for silver clay, or whatever it might be for? Well, when you're sitting at your workbench or your work table, chances are you've demonstrated that it's very easy to drop things this evening. <laughs> it happens Thanks to me. <laughs> it happens to me, it happens to all of us. Yeah, it does. You know, you're picking something up with your tweezers and you drop it on your lap. And when it's hot, um, it can actually burn straight through clothing. Mm -hmm. But with hide, it doesn't burn through. Mm -hmm. So what's really useful about this is not only can you use it as an apron, but you can also use it as a bench skin. That's a great point. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use it to catch hot things, but also you can... Because it's large size, that's true, right? Yeah, you can hook... You can actually pierce holes on the corners here mm -hmm. and then hook these up to underneath your table, put some cup hooks on, and they will catch some valuable goods as well, Great. not just the hot. Not just the hot yeah. heat. Let's also make a... Uh, oh, we've got a text in. Hello! Uh, thank you so much to you all for a great day and brilliant demos. I've learned a lot. So happy. It's like the good old days of Jewelry Baker. I don't know why I put this voice on for you, but I am. <laughs> um, Karen's in as well. I bought the apron last time and it's fantastic and very good value too really please do you know what Karen it's a really good point to make I'm glad you're pleased with it because uh, just to point out it's kind of a one size fits all you've got nearly a meter's worth in length but you've got everything is super adjustable so you've got this section 
and the back here, which you can draw further or uh, lower down the back to give you enough headspace. You've got these clips around the side here, so if it needs to be tighter, it's a simple tighten up. And there you go, you can make it tighter for your waist or larger for your waist as needed. And then you've actually got the attachment clip as well for that added safety so that you know it's, it's all nice and there's nothing flapping around. Another thing to mention as well with this is, as Karen said, it's great value. I was having a look before um, for the likes of these aprons and I found, and I literally just typed in um, leather apron, leather welding apron, and I got, the first one came up with 77.95, the next one was 60, the next one was 95 pounds, the next one was 100 pounds, and the next one was 134 pounds. Bringing to you today, wow. 16.95. Wow. So, that's why I've got less than 30 available now, so do grab it whilst you can. Um, I'm back We'll, we'll do the hammer now. I think we're going to demo it in a bit, aren't we, as well? We're yeah, talk we can demo it that. Well, uh, I'm okay. sticking with you. All Hales. right, so just to show you, so once you've got your square pusher, you've used it all the way around, and you're happy with the way that it's all gone flush. You can see now Looks it's now lovely. flush against the stone. What you just want to do is refine that by using a burnisher, and the burnisher, so that the, um, the square push is pushing the it up against the stone, the burnisher is actually tipping the very top of that, really taking it even closer to the stone, mm -hmm. but it's also starting to polish up. So you can see there, it's much smoother, but you've got a bit of a glint there as well. So just work that all the way around and then tilt it so that the very tip of the burnisher is pushing the very, very edge all the way along as well and that's really it just keep on going and keep on refining it and bit by bit it will just become start to look even brighter Perfect. and a lot even even more well finished and I'll just bring in the uh, the Labradorite one that we did there you go so you can see it actually works really beautifully um, talking about the the hammer I, I don't mind just trying them on if you just want more <laughs> on, on, do you know what I mean just to be able to see them all because it's it's fair that way, isn't it? It's fair that way. So there let you me go. show you. I'll pop one on that one as well, just to give you an idea, because of that heirloom look. Um, <laughs> love these ones. Oh, I don't know. Just to match them. <laughs> Pile them on. But, yeah, pile them on. But you can see by setting them in different angles, by having the different stones, etc., you've got something really fantastic to be able to enjoy, haven't you? And that's the thing you are going to want to make this many, I reckon. I was saying to Hales, I hope there's some flux left later. I hope some <laughs> yeah. left later. Because I'm going to be trying to get my hands on all of these because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And um, you're going to become obsessed. I'm yeah, almost positive. Absolutely. Yeah. We were talking about yes. the ring so, mantle and the hammer. So, so I mean, the hide hammer, we, I was talking about adding texture to uh, the ring band by using a hammer. And you would use a metal-headed hammer to yes. do that. So a metal-headed hammer will mark your metal and harden it up. If you want to bend a ring into shape, but you don't want to make any marks on it, you would use a hide-headed hammer mm -hmm. or um, a a roll, roll hammer. Roll hammer, yeah. So, for example, have you got that ring on that um, that one there? Probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> that one. Oh, you can leave it on your finger. Oh, all you right. can just you can just. Oh, piss me off. So what that is? It's two rows of silver wire soldered together, but then to get that crossover shape, I've wrapped that around because it's now become two mil wire essentially yeah. and then to get the shape I've hammered it round a mandrel Got you. right and I've used a hide headed hammer to do that okay. and I'll just show you I'll cut a bit of wire here uh, yeah I mean it's really often quite easy to wrap wire around but as you're making something a bit chunkier mm -hmm. it might not get the best shape and you might not quite get it as you want it to be so for example that's not great no, okay. That's not very crisp. It's not, it's not crisp. It's all a little bit lumpy and bumpy. Yeah. Okay, so if I get that back onto the mandrel. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> so I'm only a professional sometimes. <laughs> but I'm just testing you. <laughs> okay, and then get that on. <laughs> now, the thing is, if this were a metal hammer, that would spread quite a lot. It yeah. wouldn't be even. 
To be honest, bit. it's still going to spread a little bit. Because <laughs> it's silver, but nowhere near but, as much as metal. It's not because it's silver, it's because it's not soldered. So, because it's not soldered in, yeah. But you can see it has got a more rounded shape now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if it's a soldered piece, that will keep get a nice rounded shape and it won't, sh it won't spread as much. What's quite useful about that particular kind of ring band, yeah. you can solder it there where you've got that overlap. You can actually open it up a bit, oh. and then you can solder a charm in the middle of that as well. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. Looks a little bit like um, um, what's that? What's uh, Wembley Stadium? Doesn't it look like? Oh, Wembley? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not what I was thinking, but yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, it's a niche, but. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm not a football person. I don't know. It's just I've been passed along the train. I can tell by the way you had that minimal conviction in <laughs> Wembley. <laughs> isn't isn't there a bridge in Salford? No, um, uh, Newcastle. Newcastle. Tyne and Newcastle Weir. That's it. <laughs> Anyway, we're touching the straws here, aren't we? <laughs> anyway, no, I think that's, I love, I love what Yeah, so saying. anyway, that's what you can use a hard hammer for. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so, yeah, do feel free to grab your hands on that one whilst you can. Obviously, we've spoken about a few other things yeah. um, that we um, have on, for example, the lubricant we were talking about. Yes. So, have we used that? Have we got that coming up? Was it on screen? I think we're going to put it on screen. Oh, fabulous. Okay. I think so. So, what? Tom mentioned it before. Okay. So, what it will be useful for is when you're sawing. Yes. So, so for those who have the saw. Because we were talking about sawing and cutting yeah. earlier on, weren't we? For those who have sawed and they've had a really tough time and they've broken loads of blades and it gets it jars and it jams, yeah. what will really help your sawing is actually adding a little bit of lubricant. Yes. So that, that little tub that we have, just run your saw blade once down on that. Don't overdo it because it actually blocks the saw teeth mm -hmm. and I promise you it will make it a much easier and gentle way to saw. And let's remember that's not just um, a lubricant that we're going to want for our soldering, etc. It is also for making your own jump rings, isn't it? You know. Yes, yeah, sawing for... through your jump rings. Uh, but also, um, I know this afternoon, I think Fleur did a demo on a new stone setting technique, and she used a burr. Okay, right, and then yeah. we're going to be bringing you burrs next weekend. We've got a gem set. Uh, yeah, because it's a tool, a tool week, for the trade yeah. weekends next. So we're going to be using burrs for that. And um, anything that's got, needs, it, it takes a bit of friction. It actually, if you add a bit of lubricant, it actually makes the job a bit easier. So if you're drilling anything, um, so with your Dremel, when you're drilling into something, you put a bit of that on there and it actually takes away the friction. It's not hot anymore and it actually um, just does the job a little bit more efficiently. Got you, okay. Yeah. So, if you, so if you've got your Dremel, that'll be handy. If you've got burrs that you're going to use for stone setting and if you're sawing, super brilliant. Very handy indeed yeah. then. Um, so yeah, as we were saying before with, uh, Making your life easier, basically. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Here we are. Thank, Thank you, you Kerry. I like your new nails, Kerry. Yeah. Thanks. They're Super like sweeties. Cute. Little love hearts. Um, let me bring to you this now. Uh, the graphics are broken. Oh, Why? No. Just because. Well, we've done well. We're, you know. It's all right. We'll fix them. Turn them off and on again. That always helps. You are welcome. Yeah. So it actually suggests, there you go, you've got your images on there for your drill bits, your sawing, and for your, so that little bit on the back, it's actually a cup. Burr. Cut burr, yeah. So, uh, but you can use it on any shape burr. Um, we use them sometimes on the end of wire to, yes, you do, give yeah. them a nice to round it off a bit. Apart from today, maybe. Uh, so, this is your, um, uh, this is your, hey, the gra oh no, sorry, I thought you said, there they go, but he said, no, keep going. All right, do you know what? Let's demo something whilst we're waiting for this. Let's demo something. All right. Uh, I don't mind what it is. <laughs> Literally me, don't mind. We've got like 15 oh, minutes. Oh, I'll talk about how I achieved that. Ten okay. Minutes. So I'm not going to solder it, but it's no. basically two rows of... Yes, of, this is what I was asking about. Yeah, it's two rows of wire soldered together. And the way I did that was, if you know how, for example, if you need around about uh, seven centimeters worth of wire, 
to get it doubled over. Yeah. You can then do a very tight little loop on the end of the wire. Try and keep it as nice and straight as you can on one end, and mm -hmm. the same over there, and then double it over. But it's going to be tricky to solder all the way along, so you might have to solder it in several attempts. But once you've got that, you can squish it down on one side where you've got that little loop. There you go. And then trim that down, line it up, and then run some solder all the way along there. And then you've got a double row of wire. I see. And then once you've got that, if you've got some binding wire, so for those who are unsure of what that is, it's a little bit of steel wire. You can wrap it around the end there. Could I do it with copper wire or not? Yeah, you can you actually. Know the plate is. Yeah, what can you've I? got to be. Oh, yes, you can do it if with I any wire. If I've got steel wire at home. Just be you know, aware that right. some wire um, will it will solder to that. So if you have it that's a little bit longer, and if it does solder to it, you trim that off. Yes, exactly. And then once that's together, you can use your mandrel and your hide hammer. And then you hammer it round. Now, when you bend this, you don't bend it round straight. You okay. bend it at an angle. Oh, because otherwise it'll overlap. Yes, course. and that's where you get your crossover. Can I just ask you as well? Because yeah. I'm planning on um, taking up soldiering um, once I get home. <laughs> um, um, can I ask you? Yeah. When you have soldered a design like that, You've obviously annealed it because you've heated it. Yes. So, but it's still doubled up. So, should it feel firmer than it once was yeah. or more malleable? If that makes sense. Um, it will be more malleable because it's softer, but yeah. it's, it's a thicker wire, so yeah. it does have a little bit so more. So, it almost balances it out a bit. Sort of. Okay. Yeah. It, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it will still be very manageable okay. with that amount of wire. Perfect. It's really when you start to get to thicker gauge wire like a solid two mil or a three mil or sheet is a little bit more of course it requires a bit more kind of manipulation yeah but this kind of wire super easy to work with yeah but you can see there i mean even that's holding its shape quite mm. well mm. you can just have that as a ring beautiful yeah can i ask you about the one you're wearing as well do you mind that one or that one that one. Yeah, that one. Okay, so this is... I'm trying to copy um, all of them. <laughs> this is really, I think it's, we'll call it a nest ring. So I all I did was I took the wire, wrapped it round the mandrel, and overlapped it in a few places. So let me take that. It's a little bit random. Okay, I like that. Okay. Go lower down on your mandrel, because remember, it bounces. And then I actually don't want it to be nice and neat with that particular style um, because would this be a good one as a beginner yeah okay good yeah and in fact this is a really good technique for argentium so if you bought some argentium yeah. wire it, uh, I would solder it okay. but for those who have bought argentium you don't need to solder it so That's it's cool. really useful um, starting project for those who who want to try one or the other medium now because when you take it off there, it kind of bounces up a bit, what you have to do is assess where your loose end is going to connect best into... Yes. You can tuck it in. Because we still want it flat on flat, don't we? Yes, we do. And we want it to be disguised. Now, that's a little bit of a bent end of wire, but you want to tuck it under. And then, when you've found a nice area for it to be disguised underneath, what I would do is I would look for points where there's a good... Remember, good connection for your soldering. So I'd put a bit of solder there, a bit of solder there, a bit of solder there, and maybe there. And then once I've soldered all of that together, I would get that back on the mandrel, yeah. hit it either with a hide hammer or maybe gently with a metal-headed hammer, mm -hmm. and then you would get your form back and it would harden it up as well. So oh, wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much Absolute for showing pleasure. us that. And, um,
Yes, I will send you pictures yes. once I've got mine. I, I, I better need... still be able to get all of the things by <laughs> the end of this show. I'm going to be darting out of here like anything. <laughs> Give me loads of things. <laughs> Let's uh, just say we're struggling with that at the minute. We do apologise, but so the graphics don't keep breaking. And for the last few minutes of the show, we have promised you the Opal. We don't want to let you down. Let me bring you now to end your evening a cacophony of colour in one of the most famous stones. When we bring to you stones that have a history, there is an instant connection for many. Do you have a connection with birthstones? Do you have a connection with phenomenon stones? Do you have a connection with stones that maybe you knew about when you were younger? If so, this is definitely a strand to get you dialing. Because not only is it one of the most famous stones, it is the birthstone of October, and it is also a stone which has history and fame about it. And the fact of the matter is that as a creative, to be able to work with such an excelling stone as, as this strand is, you know, Ethiopian opal with that amount of colour, it's so impressive, you know, and also a stone that high-end designers would, would be more than um, agreeing to work with, to be able to offer this calibre to you in this extent of 33 carats, we've really got something to enjoy, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. I am bringing to you a full luxury acquisition now. And I'm going to be honest and let you know that it has absolutely been worth the wait. Because for me, bringing to you, however many years ago now, this kind of quality, whereby you get to see and experience that phenomena, that flame-like beauty. I was bringing to you 18 centimetre strands at over the price point on your screen when we started bringing you this quality, let's say, six years ago. You sure? I I've got 16 left. This is going to sell out. If you're watching on the repeat, we will have sold out. Should be $139.95. We're rolling down. £100 back will come off the price. £39.95 for you today, for you on these beautiful pairs. They're a 5x3 a to a 9, mm, 9x7, mm, <laughs> that was me thinking, 9x7. Uh, so a beautiful, beautiful way to add these to your collection. I will just uh, give you a little heads up though and say, as I said, we only had 16, so if you do fancy grabbing them, do feel free to. And... Uh, also, do not forget that um, with this amount that you're getting on the strand, with it being, you know, such a, an amount on there um, at that price, you're going to be able to make serious amounts of jewellery. So if you do want findings, tune in 5 o'clock tomorrow. We've got 300 of them. Thank you so much, <laughs> Hayley. You, as you know, in each break, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. I want to do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. My absolute pleasure. You're just fantastic. Thank when you. are you with us? Um, I am here on the tool setting show on the Saturday the not this weekend, the weekend after. What you want? Morning, mid, late? I think it's the mid. Yeah, baby. Hi, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm going to be spending more money on craft. <laughs> uh, we have got so much coming up for you tomorrow. Just enough time to say I'll be on the mid show with brand new Sutash Cabochons with the wonderful Sheila. And then we've got Elle after the repeat. Bye. -bye. <laughs>
You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website.